30 seconds to get your beverages. Get your beverages. Get your chips. It's time for 8.0. to the nerdy effect up oh, there it goes we are uh officially 100 percent into 8.0 now but let me let me just get to it that does not mean that i have been on for eight solid years okay that's does not mean that uh, there's a lot of confusion mainly because early in the time frame of me doing stuff i didn't know how numbering systems work so therefore i would be like Oh, well, this is 2.0. Sort of like Matt Hardy, you know, that, that V1 stuff. That, that's kind of how it was. Uh, I stayed awake just... Hey, no, Jonesy. Just, you're all right, you're all right. Good to see you, buddy. Sex psycho. Nerdy can't count, can't confirm. Nerdy doesn't know numbers. No, again. So 1.0 and 2.0 took place in 2015. And then after that, everything was a .0 for an entire year. But everything just sort of gets thrown off because of that. Well, again, technically, technically this should be 7.0. So this is my seventh beginning year to stream. Not officially, not officially seven years, but seven years officially to stream, which is, oh my God. And again, when I was doing the 1.0 and 2.0, I was not planning on doing that. So it didn't matter, but now it does in chronological form. Uh, Bulldog, good to see you, my friend. It's been forever. Jonesy, x file Sex Psycho, Jesse, whoop, whoop. Jesse's hanging out. Uh, it's an 8... Po <laughs> That's an 8.0 secret. It is. It is 100% an 8.0 secret. Uh, but yeah, it's been like a week and a half since I've seen all of you. Uh, how is everyone doing? Welcome to 8.0. And officially, it is 2021. Um, and yeah, I, I, I honestly did not... Uh, like last year when 2020 came, I said it was the future and then it became the worst year in human history. So I'm not going to do that this year, but it is very futuristic to be in 2021. It just, it just doesn't feel right. Uh, but I want to thank uh, Game gaming cosplayer and Freddy's ready who are not one in the same, but sometimes one in the same. Uh, and Sex Psycho for continuing their subs tonight. Thank you very much. Everybody else did. I didn't see it, and I apologize, but I thank you guys for, very much for being here. I like what you did with your hair. Listen, sometimes I've got to curl the ends of it, and uh, we don't judge up in here, okay? That's number one. C-Lab 2021. Did you ever think, like, when you were watching C-Lab 2021, 
Did you seriously think that you would be living in 2021? I got my own gnome cave started. I know you sent me dirty secret pictures of your nerd cave with no windows. <gasps> Can I visit? <laughs> Hosted. Sal, thank you so much, buddy. I'm having thoughts. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you conflicted? Uh, Sir Knight's conflicted. No windows. I'm in. Let's go. 2020, the year Skelly becomes sentient. No, do not, do not bother the skeleton. Uh, is it gone? I kill you. What? What's going on? Uh, hiya. Hey, what's going on, Cosmic Rays? Welcome back. Good to see you. Um, I is confused. Why are you confused, Tom? What? what we, we talked about how 7.0. Did I miss Dev? Dev? Uh, <laughs> uh, that's not what I'm having thoughts about. Oh, your hair. What's wrong with my hair? You don't like my hair? My hair is beautiful. Uh, Jonesy! <laughs> the demons in... Oh, oh! Uh, uh, um, who lives in a face mask under the sea? This dude! Jizzy! The demons in the King stream went crazy for your hair yesterday. Yesterday! Wow! Uh, Norvo Rogers, them herbal medicines are taking you for an entire trip. You missed an entire day, good sir and or madam. Uh... Never doubted I would be alive in 2021. Uh, just doubted the tech would still be as pathetic as it is in the show. I, <laughs> you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I didn't think. Wait, I don't think Bells has a problem with the hair per se. Imagine the little thing over the e. Over the e. What? I don't understand. Uh, Skelly's just Bernie Sanders from the future. I mean, if anybody saw my Instagram pic, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, damn, my bad. <laughs> yeah, it's been, a, we've, well, there's been an entire day in between there. Faith told me that I can only have a nerd room if it's in the basement, so windows are going to have to stay closed. <laughs> New camera. Camera? Are you guys talking about my camera? Le hey, listen. Do not listen. It's working. It's Ooh, working. Yeah, you know that I am the hey! Oh, and, uh, there we go. Madness, but you, uh, you it's, it's kind of befitting that King Norcalian sent me to space. <laughs> my lord, my liege, my lord, liege, King Norcal. Ooh, it's it's wonderful in space. And there's some kind of sea lab thing above my head. I don't know what's going on. Nope, not it. I got thoughts, but I won't voice them just yet. But my gut is telling me things. Well, tell us. Tell us. A nerdy can't pronounce simple words, but he gets per se on the first try. I'm always surprised. Good. Jizzy looking kind of hot with the new camera. You're not going to lie. Thank you. It's The lighting is probably what it is. Uh, nerdy, whatever I do in my nerd room stays in my nerd room, unless you share it with me on social media. Uh, and now things went full circle. <laughs> Hello. Nope. Uh, I just did. Nice. That's true. It's true. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, it's... Typically, when I start a new season, I've been off for like a month or a month and a half. But the simple fact is I streamed a week and a half ago. Not even a week and a half ago. It doesn't feel quite as, what do you say, normal as normal times. And, and, and neither was 2020, and I don't think 2021 is going to be normal times either. So, uh, Stu, the background looks green screen. Those lights look moving to me. I don't know what you're talking about. The lighting makes your hair look darker. Well, I mean, honestly, because I, I have the ring lights on like super bright, and then my my top light it's it's shining down at the top. So I'm trying to get rid of my forehead shine, and I don't think it's working. Uh, <laughs> normal sucks. Um, shoulda looked, shoulda took longer. Wait, what? Uh, uh, but yeah, Tony, welcome back, buddy. Good to see you. How you been, man? Uh, grab a toy and prove me wrong. Listen, I'm not getting up. Like, look, I'm, I'm still in, I'm still in the busted ass chair. Um, and I, I, let's talk about the chair. Let's talk about the chair. So after months, like, I'm not even joking, months and months of searching for a new chair, I finally found it, but the damn thing doesn't ship till mid February. <sighs> I found, I, I believe it's going to be the perfect chair as long as it holds up. It's exactly what I want, but it doesn't ship till February. Wig and green screen tonight, breaking my brain. I don't know what you're talking about. Rip, what are you, rip what? What's going on? Uh, put powder on your forehead. Listen, I'm not putting makeup on my forehead to do a show and then take it off to go to bed. No, that's not how this works. This isn't, this is not a big enough show to warrant that. It just, it just doesn't. Uh, but anyway. 
Uh, hopefully you guys have been okay in the, in the week of my absence. Uh, your chair doesn't... Oh, that's why you're... I got you. I got you. We need to... Wait. <laughs> we all know where powder goes and it's not on the face. Exactly. Sometimes I get monkey butt. Uh, Winter Storm here. Gonna cry. Don't be crying. Don't be crying. Don't be crying. Amazon should have shipped it same day. It's from Amazon, but it's not from like the warehouses of Amazon. It's from like a second or third party. And they don't ship until then. So, uh, nobody's going to break the chair before. Oh yes. Well, not that one, but this one's definitely going to break. Cause this, this, uh, this arm is pretty terrible. I'm blind from that forehead. Stop staring at my forehead. Words matter. Well, if you wouldn't string them all together in some giant thing, it'd be fine. Um, there's still a backlog. Yes, exactly. I had a three month wait for my new music stand to be shipped. Now I have stuffed toys on it. You sound like me. You, you hundred percent sound like me. Uh, so basically it's from Wuhan. Well, it might be, I, I don't know, but what I know is it, it, it fits my criteria. Number one, it's not like a jet black chair. It's not quite an office chair. It's not quite a gaming chair. And my personal favorite, it's not leather and or pleather it's actually cloth and the reason for it is because this thing makes a lot of noise and i want to be able to slip out my chair without nobody knowing uh can you point to any x-files toys on the shelf just point you know i don't have there there are no x-file toys back there uh i don't have it uh so it's a stall <laughs> what a stall I, I don't speak your language jonesy at least your chair doesn't creak and squeak. It randomly lowers itself. No, it does. It definitely does. Love how he shows us uh, how much noise it makes and no noise happens. Uh, well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, you know, the chair. It was the chair. See, there, thank you. Kona! Good to see you, Kona. Thank you so much for stopping in. If you guys have not followed, it's Kona Chan. Make sure you do so. Uh, <laughs> if he lets me know where it is, I can. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I read that in Macho Man's voice. Gonna have to Bobby Trap the Chairs. Bobby Trap. Booby Trap, Dr. Jones. Gotta! Talent brand. Talent brand solid steel music stand. Made in the USA. Well, that's why it took so long. It's made in the USA. They had to handcraft it. Uh... <laughs> Always focus on work. Yes, you are, Jesse. You need some you need some alone time as well. But not that special alone time. <gasps> Ooh. Do you guys want to do the sponsor? The new sponsor of, of 8.0? You guys want to wait? What do you guys want to do? Uh, I think I might need to go to my room. I'm currently enjoying Raw. Damn it, Tommy. I'm so sorry. I, th does this show bore you? Are, are we boring you? So the loop starts at the red comes in at the bottom of the square. What are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? Uh, yeah, what's your sponsor? Okay, so l let's do it this hell way. yeah. There it is! There it is! I think it's the first time Kona's been in here and that's been played. Uh, always yes to the sponsor. How do you know, Delve? You don't know what it is. Uh, sponsor? Hell yeah! <laughs> so, I've got, uh, obviously I've got some new toys. Uh, so we can do a new toy or we can do the sponsor. What do you guys want to do? Brand new toy you've never seen or sponsor? Uh, Six Psycho says new toy. Jonesy says hi, Delve. Uh, we've got uh, two sponsors and a screw a sponsor. Uh, <laughs> three sponsors, new toys. Oh no, both at the same time. Stop now, sponsor. All right, let's let's uh let's let's do both at the same time then. Uh, all right. Oh god, that, that whole tower almost fell. All right, both at the same time. All right, so we've got the uh, from the lightning collection, the yellow ranger, and then we've got the boy butter. And there you go. Quick afternoon, nerdy Mister Horn. It is good to see you. Uh, S Fox, what have you been doing uh, besides like ladies? Uh, I know you got a sponsor by PC manufacturer. <laughs> now I wish. <laughs> um, no boring without a brace and a bit. Oh, there you go. Upgrade your. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. Too much light. Couldn't see the butter. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? What's going on? Boy, but yeah, boy butter. <laughs> Back up. No, you got it. I redeem blow bubbles. Not sure if you saw it. I did not see it. Apparently. Apparently my thing is broken. So he's sponsored by butter. <laughs> uh, I want to hear about this boy butter. Uh, puppet, no, no, Tom, no. You, Tom, you're watching Raw, which is a much better produced show than this one right here. Uh, that Southern right there, hillbilly butter, trying to become legal here. Oh, oh no. God, I'm never going to financially recover from this. 
but thanks to you, I might be closer. Tiger King. Rawr. <laughs> Too cocky! Oh my god, dude! Too cocky gifted 10 one tier subs. S Fox, Leroy Gifford, Jinxie, Undefined Dime, Pew Pew, uh, V Twin, Jeff Jarrett. He doesn't need the sponsor. Uh, Mickey Memes, uh, Leroy Black Spidey. And uh, Bros the Platinum King all picked up a one tier thanks to that man too, Kagai! Thank you so much, buddy. It is great to see you. Thank you, man. You did not have to do that. Kona with the gold. Kona with the gold. Hey, another one gifts a sub. And another one gifts. And another one gifts. Another one gifts a sub. <laughs> Sex! <laughs> Prince Adam, King Kev, uh, Asus, uh, Clint Weed, Memphis. Uh, Keenag and official Esky Beats Radio picked up a one tier thanks to Sexaco. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's another one. There's another one. Uh, the Indelible Legend. Thank you. Dude, you guys do not have to do that. Uh, boy, too cocky butter. Yes. Here we go. Six being competitive. Oh, man. All right. Let me, let me get caught up here. Everything's, everything's all behind in the chat. Uh, thank you guys very much. Uh, I like seeing the names of the people that have dropped by. I do too. I like how it's like completely random. Like sometimes it's the people who are here, but then it's like, I don't know. Like what was, what was that one? Clint Weed. I have Clint Weedwood. I don't know who Clint Weedwood is. I wish that I knew. Nerdy has more toys, just not, wait, but not just action toys. That's right. With the Kung Fu grip. Things like that, um, but yeah. So, uh, so uh, let, let's 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 turn the tide a little bit. Tell me a little bit about what you guys have been doing. Yep, in his other playroom. Listen, we don't talk about the dungeon, okay? Look, we've already got the nerd cave, the nerd hole. We don't talk about the dungeon. Working, nerd. Thank you. It is 8.0. Thank you for fixing that, Dan. Um, so yeah, what have you guys been doing? I have been absolutely doing nothing. Um, n nothing at all. There's not a, there's not a damn thing that I have been doing. So, uh, we've been waiting for 8.0 <laughs> working as usual. F work. Lady Bells, how's the job search going? Um, don't go straight into the nerd hole. <laughs> you get dirty looks. That's true. Uh, I'm drinking already for Australia day. That's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. By the way, we will be on tomorrow for a special nerdy effect show for Australia day. I've already got some things in the works, and we'll be celebrating Australia Day. It'll be late for us, but we're at least attempting it. Uh, a subject rant. What would you What would you like me to rant on, Jonesy? Oh, Z. Oh, Z. Oh, Z. It's rough out there, sir. Apparently, I'm overqualified for a lot of jobs. Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> work, sleep, eat, look for nerdy, get disappointed, rinse, repeat. Uh, Bernie meme. How do I rant on a Bernie meme? Is that for or against them? Hermit t Andy. Good to see you, my friend. Hi, Shirley Temple. Hi, Hermit Tandy. Uh, <laughs> it is great to see you, buddy. How do I, now is it, is it for a Bernie meme or against a Bernie meme? For a Bernie meme. That, that's, that's the wrong person. That's, it's got to be Jonesy. Um, it's not for or against. It's Burr. <laughs> for. So I have to, okay, all right. Uh, let, let, it's been a minute. It's been a minute since I've done a rant. So uh, let me see if I can muster one up here. Um, uh, you know what the world needs? The world needs a little bit more Bernie memes. Honestly, with the, with the cluster F that this world's been for the past year and this month, it is, we need some more fun, interesting things across the internet. And nothing actually worked better than a Bernie meme. So if you're not out there actually doing a Bernie meme here and there every day, brightening people's days, what the hell good are you? Get out there and make a Bernie meme. Put them in your house. Put them in your toilet. Put them in your bedroom. Do what you got to do to make the Bernie memes fluster more. 2020. <laughs> it's all hat. You guys make sure to get your shirts. Wait, what? Uh, he's selling shirts uh, with the memes on it. Wait, Bernie is? <clears throat> That's awesome. That's actually kind of cool. Blow some bubbles. You're right. You're right. I owe you some bubbles. <clears throat> Kona. Bernie memes. Burning man. <laughs> which involves more. Ordering fruit doesn't count as cooking. Uh, can we get mittens for Skelly? <gasps> Skelly, you want some mittens? <clears throat> we'll get some mittens for Skelly. I'll see if I can order those or not. Uh, Bells, make more Bernie memes. Yes, Bells, Bells is actually the originator of the Bernie meme. So keep those memes going. Bernie memes are the best. They actually are. They brighten my day. And then I put them in my nerd hole and Skelly got mad. 
Uh, <laughs> get tired of Bernie. Go to KFC for better Sanders. Get out of here, Spock. All proceeds from Bernie shows go to charity. That's awesome. I didn't know about that. Uh, I got those memes for my daughter. No, no, claim them for yourself. Dress Skelly as Bernie. That would be awesome. Uh, Delve got with Bernie back in the 20s. <laughs> Not gonna lie, Cobra Kai is a freaking amazing show. I wish I would have watched it sooner. Yeah, it's on my to watch list. It's it's getting there. Have you tried that WB wait, have you heard that WB sold the network to Peacock and WB Network will be closing down in the US? Are you serious? Really? So so everybody has to go to Peacock or something? Uh, I'll show you. Hey, Six, I wonder what Nerdy does to R. Skelly off camera. That's none of your damn. Ignore me. I'm eating. What are you eating? What are you eating? And apparently X-Files is doing something, too. Uh, hard to ignore what Nerdy would offer something that already has a bone. Um, it's hard to when you have a sword. WB going... I, well, I mean, that doesn't shock me. That doesn't shock me. Del Taco that I made. <laughs> Yep, it's official. You have to subscribe to Peacock to watch W Cat Time for March. So is does that mean that does that mean that the archive goes to Peacock or is that something else? I don't understand. I'm very I'm very distraught. I don't know. Kerber Kai is great, but make sure you watch the first uh, and second Karate Kid movies first. Well, I mean I know those by heart. <laughs> uh, no, what happened to my subscription? I pay for exactly. Yes, every single... No, I mean, I'm talking about the archive. I'm not talking about, like, the live crap. I'm not, I, don't, I don't watch SmackDown. I'm talking about, like, 1989's Royal Rumble. Like, is that going to be on Peacock? Uh, yes, the archive. Well, that's just dumb. That's just dumb. Peacock sucks. I want the network. I don't, I don't want to have to, like, skip through 30 Rock to see it. That just, that just sounds dumb. Uh, live crap. Ironically, how people describe this show. Are you serious? <laughs> The pay-per-view on Peacock too good. Uh, it's actually SmackDown Live. I don't know what that song. What, what the hell are you talking about, Jonte? <laughs> Man, I just I don't know. Shots fired. Uh, live crap. All right, I owe the bubbles. You suck. What? <laughs> uh, I owe the bubbles to the. Uh, I owe the bubbles to the uh, uh, undefined dimey. There we go. We finally got it. Under the sea. Look at the bubblies. Under the sea. Get over this way. Nah, they, they all went that way. Oh, there one. <laughs> uh, I'm a bad aim. He'll be all right. <laughs> Del, there must be something wrong with my eyes. I, I can't take them off you. You got a nosebleed from watching this show? I better check mine. Oh no, that would be bad. All suddenly I'm on my 8.0 debut. Nerdy, proof that you blow bubbles from urine. How is that? What the hell? Do do urines urines your does urine can you? I don't understand. <laughs> Gotta settle down that nose candy. <laughs> Hey, listen, Norville Rogers, you're, you're not in any predicament to be saying anything about drug use. You missed a Sunday. Uh, but yeah, see, my, my chair is still in some bad shape. Like, that's a that's a wiggly armrest, and I don't think it's going to make till mid-February. Uh, I'm probably going to have to do it. Urine bubbles. I don't understand. I don't understand. I mean, did this, did this seem like it was urine bubbles? I don't get it. There we go. Oh, that is the the chair. Oh, yes, it is. It is 100% on its last leg. You're right. You're not wrong. Oh, there's one floating. Get over here. Come here. Oh. <laughs> At least I wasn't bleeding. At least I don't think I was. Works every time that I do it. Once. What works every time once. Yes. Uh, anyway, so all right, let's uh, let's talk about the sponsor. Let's talk about the sponsor. The sponsor is uh Boy Butter. That is uh, official lubrication. There we go. We can actually see it now. Uh, it is uh, it is boy butter. I haven't opened it yet, so I don't know what it smells like. So uh, that is the official sponsor of 8.0. <laughs> let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can open it. Boy butter. I'm giggling. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Too cocky. Thank you so much for the host. Uh, you never know it is. <laughs> Wait. Oh, hang on. <laughs> yeah. The the slogan is you'll never know it isn't boy butter. 
as a slick and oily based lube hypoallergenic. <laughs> <laughs> mm, boy, no, no, this is not this is not an edible one. This is not edible. So I'm not doing that. Oh, it's got a thing. Where do you find such fascinating goodies? Oh no, drop the cap. No, oh, it's gonna be bad news for everybody. Uh, let me know when you need to refill that. Oh, it's like lotion. That's not good. It's like lotion. Ooh, it's smooth. Uh, <laughs> we can eat this boy butter on baked potatoes. Mmm, that smells... It smells like cookies. <laughs> All things are edible, so we're just hard to keep down. Nerdy Kitty, show us how to properly apply it. I just did. And that, that cap is gone forever. I don't know where it went. Um, oh, there it is. Hang on. Give me a moment. Give me, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Boys smell like cookies. Slight paraphrase from something nerdy said. Um, it actually smells kind of good. Yeah, it's got a cookie hint to it. Uh, ten camels have spunked in it. <laughs> Thank you, Jonesy. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jonesy. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, that is the sponsor. And it says, um, is the first water-based cream from Form Personal Lubricant. A standard water-based gel lubricant with added, added vitamin E, shea butter, and natural oils that do not degrade latex. I hope you get it worked out, Tom. Are you still bleeding? Are you still bleeding? Anyway, so there you go. I don't know. I, I, feel, I feel silky already. Uh, where do we apply this? On your hands, which is what I did. On the face! <laughs> no, it's actually a serious thing. I'm having problems with high blood pressure, and it started giving me nosebleeds. Holy crap, dude. Um, but yeah, so out with the nut, and in with the boy. <laughs> uh, no, it's actually... Oh, sorry. Um, I would put that on my sausage. <laughs> on the forehead. That actually might keep it down. Uh, that was weird how the background... Wait. Uh, that was weird how the back grounded there for a second i don't know what that means what does that mean um are you not taking medicine gamer freak that's a good fact thank you very much uh to change the subject how does it taste i'm not tasting it uh spread it on some toast no the only thing that goes on toast is vegemite um which we will have for tomorrow's show spoiler alert for posterity there you go uh i don't know if you mean uh prostate <laughs> for prostate Stu, what do you... Uh, Stu, you, you're going to have to go back. You're going to have to go back to what you said. Taste it or I'll poo on you. <laughs> Listen here, nosebleed boy. Uh, for for pros, prostatery. That's not a word. You, you can't just make up words. You just think you are. You me? I I fought all... I thought all lube was edible. At least mine are. Um, Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Side, Rick? Side, thank you so much for the follow. Hopefully you have a uh, hopefully you have a good old time. Nerdy isn't really on stream right now. This is a max headroom version. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> What's up, dude? Uh, Delve loves Vegemite. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's why. That's why we're gonna have a whole bunch of it tomorrow. Um, yeah, I need to change. I need to change that and make it say uh, Gavel Hair Delve. A hundred percent. Hundred percent. So, Lady Bells, have we have we fixed your query from earlier? Have we, have we fixed it? Are you even kill now? Are you a, a okay? Delve, is that what you were snacking on? She was snacking on some Vegemite? Yeah, 100%. Uh, yes, they're prescribed me beta blockers. Not a fan of them, um, but must needs. That's crazy. That That's crazy. Uh, I think it's a... Uh... Wait, what? <laughs> Home alone. Wait, I don't know what's going on. Nope. So, Bells, you're going to have to divulge. You're going to have to divulge. Uh, I don't remember snacking. Uh, there's nothing wrong with being query. No, there's not. Not at all. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You you must uh, you must definitely um, embrace your inner self. Know what I mean? I'm so glad you guys are here. Uh, <laughs> don't feel bad. I don't remember a whole day. Yeah, he missed Sunday. Uh, I'll tell you later. Nothing bad. I promise. Okay. All right. Well. Well. Good. Good. Um, just message me. Just, just, I, I gotta know you're, you're, it's, it's, I don't know. It's eating me up. I don't know. I, I need to, I need to fix the, the, um, the bells. 
Uh, I'll tell him now and include some bad. I'm just curious why he's hiding the background. Either he's hiding it or he's sitting in a green bathroom stall right now and doesn't want to know. Is this thing echoing? Stu, are you serious? Like, uh, Stu, do you, do you seriously think that I have a fake background? This has been my background for years. Years. Like, that, that's crazy. It's been there for years. Nerdy, stop farting on the chair. No wonder it's broke. <laughs> Um, no, I'm definitely not. It's super fake. You're fuzzy around the edges. You're fuzzy around the edges. I don't know what you're damn well talking about. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Like, it, it kind of bothers me a little bit that you guys don't trust me. You know what I mean? Like, I, I thought by this point in our relationship that you guys would trust me. And, and I can clearly see, I can, I can clearly see that we just, for some reason, we just don't have that, uh, we don't have that trust. Like I thought we did. You know, trust no one. I trust you sometimes. What are you talking about? I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. I think, I think it's unfair that everybody here would just, you know, be like, oh, is Jimmy trying to pull the fast one or something like that? When literally I just been sitting here having a wonderful conversation with each and every one of you. And I would definitely not trust. There's a reasonable explanation. <laughs> There's a reasonable explanation for this, okay? Look, I, I all right, I can I can explain this, okay? I can explain. All right. So so what had happened was um We have traveled into a brand new world. And what is this brand new world that we have all traveled into? I ask you, I ask each and every one of you, what is this brand new world that we are all a part of? Anybody? Anybody got an idea? I'll tell you. It is the nerd world order. That is right. This is the real brand new 8.0. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the future. It's the nerdy effect. It's the nerdy effect 8.0. 8.0. The nerdy effect, one of my favorite shows. It's the nerdy effect 8.0. Well, one of my favorite shows that I've ever seen. Close up to the sky, he's heaven.
What is up, Affected? <laughs> and welcome to the official season premiere of the Nerdy Effect 8.0. Uh, yes, a lot of things have changed in the week and a half since I've seen you, and I honestly all day could not wait for that unveil. Uh, how long did it take you to do everything from shelf and put it on a new one? Four days. It took me four days to do it. And uh, technically, I'm not even done. And I was sitting here thinking you were wearing a wig because you got a haircut. Boy, was I wrong. I like this intro. I dig it. Uh, it's another green screen. You can't trick me. I thought about it. I seriously thought about putting another green screen behind that one and it have a different background. But I don't have two green screens yet. Uh, Cosmic, welcome to the show. Uh, I heard my bloody voice. You heard a lot of bloody voices in there. Um, I changed it. And don't worry if you sent me a clip. Uh, and you're not in the intro, more than likely you're in the outro. Uh, now I find them turtle cars again, right down. <laughs> or do you guys want to play? It looks awesome. Yes, this took a lot of heart and soul for me. Um, I, uh, I actually came across a little bit of a, an epiphany with it. And uh, I have a lot of stuff. And I don't like having a lot of stuff, apparently. Uh, but that is the brand new background. Um, it's not officially done. It's, uh, it looks a lot cleaner, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Uh, it's, it's wild to see, um, what it has changed into. Do a giveaway. No. Nice room. Uh, K-Push. Good to see you. Um, are they new shelves or are they always white? Yeah, they, 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 they were always white. They were just so damn dirty because I refused to dust. Uh, looks more organized. Uh, but yeah, screw your jizzy you butt face. You bloody tricked me. You go to your own room. My own room? What the hell? <laughs> um but yeah that is that is the real one and uh man you guys have no idea can we talk about the shirt too yes we can talk about the shirt so um I, again my my past week has been uh hellacious like my work has been rough and then having to do this and then having to stress to get it done by monday by 7 p.m plus a new intro plus all the audio plus everything else and making sure that it goes semi-smooth was very difficult and taxing on me. Uh, I'll buy the broken chair for $13. I need that shirt. So, Grayskull looks familiar. Yes, it, it, the, the Grayskull actually used to live right here. So, it was it was really close to where it's at. Uh, poor baby, all that work. I know. Uh, it's a very nice room. Thank you, Sal. That does look totally freaking awesome, Nerdy. You mad genius. Um, so let's talk about the shirt. Cause I, I know you guys wanted to, and officially I wanted to unveil my merch store tonight, but I just didn't have the time to get it up and going. But in the coming week, we're talking probably by Friday, this will be available in the nerdy effect merch store. This will be the first item available. Uh, this is the nerd world order. Of course, it's got the, uh, the nerd circle on there. So you guys will be able to purchase it. I kind of wanted to be the first one to buy my own merch. So uh, that's why I had to get it and make sure it was all good and fit or whatever. If I do have a tip, if I do have a tip, I would say go up a size from what you normally do because this is um, this is an extra large. And I'm like, damn, uh, it's a little tight. Uh, makes note to buy a new shirt. Let's go. You look like an official streamer now. No, I, I wouldn't say official, but definitely a little bit better. Just the tip. Mrs. Freddy. Uh, Nerd World Order. Who's the president? <laughs> Lewis? No, 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 no. Uh, hmm. Uh-oh. Del Delve has, has preponderating. Hmm. I thought I'm making my own shirt. You should. You definitely should. Will it be posting on IG when it's up and running? Uh, yes. Yeah, I, I, will definitely, I will definitely put a link and everything up for it. Um, but yeah. It, and again, I had to be the first one to buy the brand new merch. Um, <laughs> go up a size. So finally clothes that will fit my small body. You're right. You're right. You can probably go down. Um, but yeah, no, like I bought an extra large because I want to make sure it fit. I was like, this is kind of a little tight. I don't know. Nerdy thinks he was first. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, so I need a 2X. You probably do. I would recommend it. Um, but, you know, try it for yourself. See what you think. Um, will you ship to UK and do uh, Jonesy? So it ain't for me. See, that's the beauty of this merch thing is I don't have to do anything. It all, it all takes place in the merch. That's it. Uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to go up a size either. I'm just, yeah, I, you know, I'm just saying like I bought an extra large and I'm like, I probably should have got the two. Uh, what size is you going to have available? It's going to be whatever the store offers. Like it's going to be across the board, whatever they say. 
Uh, and are they unisex? I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I do know that I had the opportunity to make a bikini. And I don't know if they would sell, but I kind of want to buy a Nerd Circle bikini. Uh, I mean, it looks like a good fitted shirt depending on your style. True, true. Uh, do they stock it in 5X? I normally buy uh, 4X. I don't know. Honestly, I... It, it was it was difficult enough for me to get this ready to go, and then I'm like, you know what? We'll just save the store when I have time to think about it. Uh, can you legally sell that? It looks almost like the NWO. Yes, you can, because there are so many corporations and stuff like that that have something similar to this. As long as it doesn't say that, you're not infringing. It says nerd, and then I've got the circle in there. So, yeah. DMK, settle down with your legality crap. Uh, I want a need circle mankini. <laughs> oh, for the love of... Uh, I hope they ship to the Uzbekistan. I hope so too. Um, yeah, there, there's somebody I follow on Instagram and they, um, they have a, an NWO, but it says something else on it. I mean, but listen, they don't own the rights to three letters in a row. Uh, starts in OnlyFans and the only picture is Nerdy Bikini. <laughs> Wait, is this my OnlyFans? Uh, Nerdy gets his room fixed in four days. I've been working on a new room for going on a year and a half. It was a struggle. It was a, it was a struggle. And honestly, it'd be between me and Peacock anyway. Uh, Vince Man on line one, he doesn't care. <laughs> yes, my six nerd circle shirts that sell are really going to impact them. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, this, uh, it, it, so I'll, I'll give you guys the story. I'll give you guys a story. Um, uh, uh, so the story is, um, I thought I could accomplish it pretty fast because literally it was take stuff down, put the shelf up, put the stuff on the shelf. And then it got difficult for some reason because each one of these shelves are individually adjustable. These are, these are shelves from Ikea bragging. Uh, not bragging, but these are shelves from Ikea. So there are so many like different holes right down in here that you can actually put the shelves on. So actually trying to measure the difference for where I need for each set of collection was a lot more tasking than what I wanted. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, Ikea Pog Champ. <laughs> um, <laughs> nerdy, well, Powerbomb Vince, you're a fact, it's a fact. Or I'll just get Jonesy to do it. Um, <laughs> white shelves really brighten the room. It really does. It changes the whole game. And then each shelf has their own individual lighting system that goes around. So they're lit completely from the back, 100%. Whereas my old shelves, they were not. <clears throat> you guys have rooms? I just have a corner of my living room. And it's adorable. Uh, Jesse, tell us about his holes. Uh, should turn this into an epic story. Sweet drippings from your forehead and stuff. <laughs> Let's emphasize and make it seem rougher. Uh, there I was in my underwear redecorating for days. Uh, <laughs> 8 point oh, hey, money maker two five four. Good to see you, baby. Uh, oh wow, your forehead is not shiny anymore. That's because I had had so many lights on for my fake green screen. Uh, <laughs> what a bloody minute! Where the hell is fabulous R. Skelly? R. Skelly took a break tonight, uh, just for the simple fact of we got to show off everything that's back here. So, and there's a lot. Ooh, uh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I love everything on those shelves. What up, nerdy? Voodoo! What's going on, my friend? Welcome back. Thank you so much for that one tear, baby. Wait, the green screen was fake? It was, and now it's not. But yeah, this is the... this is. Oh, and, and look at me. I'm a, I'm a little nutcracker. I'm a nutcracker, and I don't care. That's right. I crack, I crack the walnuts with my mouth. <laughs> Voodoo, thank you so much. Finally, someone understands the struggle. Mrs. Freddy, uh, you had a green screen. Yes, it was. It was a, it was a green screen. This is the real stuff. Uh, but yeah, it took a lot. And honestly, I was working on, I was working on it up until like 11 o'clock last night. It's, it was, it was taxing. Grab the board butter nutcracker. Oh yeah, there we go. Ding. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was, it was a lot more taxing because Again, it wasn't just what you see because it's also stuff over here that was actually being transferred and moved out as well. And then uh, over here, not. Friends like Gaston has great friends like Gaston. At the end of the day, no one trends like Gaston. <laughs> and I'm a snowman. It matches my shirt. Uh, for cleaning up the star of the show. Appreciate you. Wait, who? The the, oh, you're talking about the background. Yes. I, thank you very much. Sex Psycho. You're a real streamer. Thank you, streamer. 
Uh, yes, I would love to have at least a room where I can game room, <laughs> where I gaming craft room, but having no to do my gaming desk. I'm so sorry. You need to just like push Freddy out and be like, hey, this is my area. And he's like, okay, this is my area. Okay. And all of a sudden he's in the corner like, what the hell? <laughs> um, I know it's only a small and nothing compared to you, Jizzy, but I finally made it to a hundred followers on here yesterday. Really proud of that. Hell yeah, Tom. Hell yeah, man. Look, this didn't happen for me overnight either. We're on 8.0. Like, <laughs> this isn't like, hey, welcome to Nerdy Fact. I just started streaming six months ago and I've already got 100,000 followers. Look at my boobs. I mean, seriously, because I've seen people like that. So I do need to ask, though. I'm, I'm very curious. Um, again, I didn't get everything done that I wanted for this setup. Um, but I am curious, do you guys like the cleaner look across the screen? You know, like none of the individual funny gifts and things like that over here. And like, do you like the cleaner look? Is it, is it better? Or is it just sort of like, um, kind of like, mm, I kind of miss the goofy stuff. <clears throat> Voodoo, it's great to see you, man. How are, how's life? How's things? You streaming tonight? I stream every Saturday. Uh, I love the new look. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I like it. Uh, less is more. Uh, too much to look at for me before. No, I agree. I, I, I agree. Uh, I love chaos. I, I did too. See, I, I, the thing is, is I wanted to have enough for everybody to do something. And then I'm like, well, if I'm going to go 8.0 with the clean shelves, I might as well clean up the entire camera area and see where we go. It's back on the shelves. It's, it's back there again. Find it if you can. Good luck. <clears throat> you'll, you'll find where's Waldo's dog before you'll find that. Uh, Tell you what, <clears throat> put the gifts back and then we'll be able to make a comparison. I can't. They're they're gone. They're gone. <clears throat> we could always clutter the screen as we clutter the shelves more this season. You're not wrong. Me? Nope, not tonight. Well, I appreciate you stopping in on your on your time off. If you guys have not checked out Voodoo, make sure you click the name and drop the follow. Wrestling all night. Oh, uh, where's Urkel? Right there. Right there. Hanging out right there. Oh, and I want to show you guys something else. This is something... Uh, something interesting that's a new added and there is going to be more things added to this uh throughout the coming weeks but i wanted you guys to see this so uh lady bells lady bells if you would um please give me one color give me one color uh it was all i got wait it was all to get the ecto one plate from behind the old shelf wasn't it <laughs> yeah that's why that's why it only moved a few inches Sir, Lady Bells, pick a color. It's going to be purple. Duh. It may not. It may not. Oh, well, never mind. It's purple. Six Psycho. Give me a color. Say chicken. Oh, Six shit. Psycho says blue. Uh, Red Walrus, give me a color. Speaking of which, ooh, pretty. <laughs> See, chicken, blow us away and don't say red, red. <laughs> so, I, I actually have interchangeable colored lights that actually will run and change the colors of the shelving. What is it, y'all? <laughs> no. Ask me a dumb question like that. Sheesh. I'm just... You know, pink. Pink it is. Uh, <laughs> now you're a real nerd. Uh, uh, actually, actually, if you, if you want to do it by, like, printing terms, it is not RGB. Hmm? Anybody know the real ones? Breen! Uh, RGB improves the stream performance by 50%. All right. Well, we'll do that then. Come here. There we go. A little bit of green. There you go. Thank you, Six. Thank you, Six. Uh, lighting it up. Viva Las Vegas. Printing is cyan, magenta, and yellow, and K for black. Uh, can you make the colors change with donations eventually? Uh, Soylent green. Well, I mean, we're just we're just having people at that point. There you go. There's your green for turtles. Um, so yeah, my my plan is is to not have to have 
the uh, the Christmas lights and the, the Halloween lights up, but actually change the actual format of the background behind me. <coughs> Burnt orange. <laughs> there we go. There, there's, there's burnt orange. Burnt sienna. Uh, I expect green and gold tomorrow. Green and gold? All right, we can do that. No, it's green for the rangers, silly. Oh, that's a fact. I don't wear underwear. Can you make it so the colors of a bird turd when it's been sitting on a bright green Lambo for three days? Sure, as we make it rain some money. <laughs> there we go. That's a bird turd. It's a pretty cool idea. Uh, I have those lights. Well, hell yeah. Do a rainbow. Uh, Lightning McQueen red. Do a rainbow. Well, it's kind of difficult, but we can we can get kind of close. So that's a little bit of a little bit of the the spew. You guys don't always change the color. You saw it. <laughs> it's raining. Hey, what's going on, Donovan? It's been forever. How are you doing? Uh, but yeah, so that's just the future of what we're gonna be able to do in here. And again, four days, four days. It's 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 wild. It, it still shocks me. Like like when it, when I when I go through the door and I see it, I'm like, whose room is this? It looks so nice. Is there a John Cena visible on the shelves? Actually, John Cena is on that shelf now. So he used to be over here. He used to be on this shelf up here, but he's actually over there now. Uh, if you spelled out nerdy in the lights, it would have freaked me out too impressive. Well, give it time. Give it time. Creekasm. Nerdy, can you uh, nerdy? Can you come spiff up my bookshelf quarter? Girl, you knew it. Uh, four days. The effort shows. I'm still stunned by it. Me too. Everything is awesome. How long will the clean look stay clean? Well, until the shelves are back brown again. So, yeah. And actually, it really wasn't cleaning. It was just me just scrubbing. <laughs> I used the boy powder. <laughs> uh, I wish there was a way he could see I could see all the shelves for 100% amazement. Well, okay. So, all right. So, let, let me tell you guys my plan here. <clears throat> since, since we're... Since, let's let's tone down. Let's, let's tone down the mood here. Let's tone down the mood. Let's, let's turn it down. <laughs> um, bravo! I'm awesome. Been catching up on Dragon Block C mod on Minecraft. I've gotten a tournament power arc. I don't speak Minecraft. That sounds cool though. Uh, bravo! Good to see you. So here's the thing. Um, when I was doing this, I, I thought, and, and I've been planning this for a while. Listen, if you're trying to buy, uh, if you're trying to buy IKEA shelves, you're gonna be out at least a month. Like. Like, if you put your order in today, it'll be a month before they're shipped. It's a long time. So I've been planning this a while. In my brain, I thought that putting bigger, longer shelves and adding this center section was going to give me more room. It actually didn't. It gave me less room. Um, and in, and in, in doing that, not everything made it back to the shelves. Yet. Yet. And shipping is expensive. It is. It's very expensive. Um, so again, this has been planned for a while and I wanted to have a big debut for 8.0. Actually, I want to do this earlier, but time constraints. But anyway, so in doing this and everything didn't get put back on the shelves, it's actually like stumped my brain. So I, I'm sort of at this, this waypoint where I really don't want to buy anything. And I think that's the first time I felt like that in a long time. Now, that's not saying that I don't have an entire table and half room in there full of brand new stuff to show you but i don't want to bring anything new into this collection uh so uh back to the shelves good idea for a segment of the show exactly well i mean you're not wrong you're not wrong cosmic and that that is a future plan which i'm getting at so my plan over the course of 2021 is to finally get a pc and with me saving my own money and then, of course, anything that comes in from the stream, that will go directly to an official PC. And when that happens, I'll be able to place multiple cameras around the room in different points. So we could go to that side of the room, or we could go to the nerd hole, or we could go over here. Like, this room is actually decently sized, and there's a lot more in it that nobody ever gets to see. But 
I can't do it with this PC. The, it just will not, there's not enough USB points and it will not hold, even if you have an expander for USBs, they still kind of get mashed up and wonky. That's why my microphone does that jump stuff and it has that deep voice because it's also in the same slot as my camera. Sometimes the signals don't work. Having multiple cameras, because I used to have the ball pit cam, and sometimes that thing wouldn't work either. So I need a PC in order to do that. And when that happens, we'll be able to move the camera here, move it around, have it in different positions. So that is the future of 8.0. Yes, we have a brand new background, but I don't want to have a clean looking background and just cluttered up with more stuff. I'd rather have multiple cameras for multiple angles and actually improve the quality of the stream. Possibly more more opportunities for group gaming. I, I Well, that's going to happen as well. Uh, if you need help with building your PC, let me know. I will. I will. I, I'm not sure what I want to do, but first is you got to have money to do it. Uh, one on top shelf, that would be good. Yeah, I, I, I want to have one that's sort of closer, and that way you guys can sort of see it a little bit better. I mean, it's there, and you can follow me on Instagram, Six Psycho, if you want to see it closer. Uh, I'm so excited. I like this future idea. I, I think clutter is clutter is cuter <laughs> um yeah yeah it's it's again it makes me really sad that everything couldn't go back on the shelf but anyway eventually eventually we'll figure out a way to get there your room makes me happy good jonesy i'm glad it does okay my room makes me happy now that i don't have to come in here and clean it uh clutter makes me anxious so my entire show the entire time you've been watching it has just been one anxious thing like like literally she's just like right here the whole time just like I wish he would turn, like, he's entertaining, but God, I wish he would just turn it off. <clears throat> I'm so glad I'm on vacation this week. I don't even miss this. I know, I know. 1080p stream, 4K stream, 8K stream. <laughs> I, have come here to uh, I love that. Gum and, kick ass. and what? And I'm all out of bubble gum. That's true. I'm all out of bubble gum. Zach Stacko, 20. Thank you so this damn much. Show has just donated $25. PC fund also am not getting an IG. <laughs> I'm fine with clutter as long as it's an organized mess. And I, I felt that my background was an organized mess. Now it's nice and pretty. Um, but you can actually see more stuff. Um, I Like, even sometimes things would get lost. and But now, now I feel that you can actually kind of see what's going on a little bit better. Um, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, six. Thank you so damn much, dude. Seriously. Uh, but yeah, that that's my that's my big plan. First, first is a chair, which is coming. It's coming. First is a chair, and I wanted I wanted to unveil a new chair tonight. That was that was my second big thing. But no, we're still with old Limpy here, so <laughs> I don't I don't have a chair to pull out. Um, but first is a chair, and then a PC. Okay, I need to go to bed. I want to stay up for 8.0 debut. Thank you very much, Delph. I appreciate the hell out of you for staying up. Uh, I know it's super late. Um, uh, how old is your Michael Jackson album? That one? That one is, uh, was it 1984 when Thriller came out? And by the way, that's been in the show forever. It used to sit used to sit right down here next to R. Skelly's feet. Uh, I'm looking for a new chair too. K-Push, listen, it was a nightmare for me to find it. Uh, I still don't have it, so I don't know if I made the right decision or not. But buying a gaming chair is, like, the hardest. Like, it's it's easier to buy a car than it is to buy a gaming chair. Because literally it's like, oh, here's 250 bucks, and the chair falls apart before you even put it together. And that's what the Amazon reviews say. You're like, really? Like, okay, fine. And then the biggest, baddest gaming chair on, chair company on the planet, like, the number one, the best one, the most comfortable, durable, best chairs you can ever have in your life, they slap a T on it! A big, giant, golden T! No! Absolutely not! So, no! F you, Streamlabs! <laughs> <laughs> secret labs secret labs uh first time i'm seeing it it's always been there it used to be it used to be right down here it's always been there uh have you seen my gaming chair i have not i have not uh r.i.p r skelly not relevant anymore he'll be back he'll be back um i want a herman miller what <laughs> i don't know what that is is that a chair that, that honestly sounds like something you get at like a, a seedy sex parlor or something. Like you walk in, sir, what will you be having? I'll be having the Herner Her Miller Aron. <laughs> My first expensive gaming chair came with the stripped holes and couldn't put it together. That was fun to deal with since they kept sending me new bolts like the holes would magically fix themselves. It's the chair. I got you. Uh, I can sleep on my gaming chair. Yeah, see, I don't need that. 
See, that's the thing. Gaming chairs are not what I need. I don't need a gaming chair. I'm I'm never, I talked about this last time, I'm not going to ever be like, kick back like, God, oh my God, look at me gaming. Oh, ma'am, ma'am, come wipe me, ma'am. No, that's, that's not going to be me. I don't need to kick back in my gaming chair. I need to be right here. I need to be comfortable. I need to be talking. And I don't even sit back, so I don't even need lumbar support. Uh, dude, redecorate it. It's a green screen. <laughs> Where's the stripper pole though? I, okay, so I had a stripper pole in my cart on Amazon and it literally, they stopped selling it. I'm like, oh, so I, I don't have one yet. If I was, wait, if I was you, I scratched the gaming chair idea and get a giant beanbag chair. No, I gotta be able to move. I have gaming chairs. I just want a comfortable chair that's not going to make my ass fall asleep. That's what I need. I don't need a gaming chair. I, like My criteria for what I need is very different from other people. Gamer Nexus just made a video on why gaming chair are bad. Yeah, and I'm, don't, I'm not buying a gaming chair. I'm buying a chair that is crushed velvet. Yeah. <laughs> you can get a comfy sack for R. Skelly. <laughs> I'm still using an old padded folding chair from the garden table set. Oh man, you just got a cushion on there? If you need me to create backgrounds for your green screen, that, it's already there. Uh, you bought a chair from the 80s. I did. Uh, I want a lazy boy and I'm not a guy. I, I, I want a lazy boy too. Let me know. Uh, yeah, I have an old pillow on it. Tom, you need to upgrade, sir. <laughs> Damn it, man. Easy boy reclining chair. That sounds great, doesn't it? It really does. Um, but anyway, so the chair's coming. That that's already been taken care of. My next thing is a PC. Like that's that's really what I want to do. I need to, I need to, I need to break my habit of um, filling my my emptiness void in this life with buying more toys that I have no room for. Like for months, actually about a year, I've been planning this because I talked about it at the beginning of 7.0 about wanting to do new shelving. And then it just never pulled the trigger. And then it was somewhere around like, I want to say maybe August, I finally bought the shelves, something like that. I'm like, okay, I got them. And then when I get them, I'm going to have so much room to put more of the collection on it and actually have less room. So it's, it just made no sense to me to continue buying. Now I'm still going to get certain collections like the lightning collection. These are really nice. These are great. And they'll go great on my Power Rangers shelf, which is right there in full display. But, you know, like random stuff, like this funky Jetsons Hot Wheels. I don't need it. I just like it. I thought it was cool and funky. Mattel Dream Mobile. I like it, but I don't need it because I have nowhere to put it. I literally, right here, have all these <laughs> dirty Hot Wheels that were right here on this wall, right, right here. Nobody ever saw. <laughs> Nobody ever saw them. Like, I barely even noticed that they were there. Like, it's that kind of stuff. I have no room for Hot Wheels. They're in the package. They kind of don't really display well. So I don't need to buy a new Hot Wheel when I don't have room for the original ones. Where's the Scooby collection? Uh, you know, I do have a Scooby collection, but it was supposed to be on one of these shelves, but I don't have the room for it. So I do have one. I have the Mystery Machine and all the cats. We, we burn Scrappy-Doo because he doesn't count. Um, yeah. Was this something you planned on doing in your three-month break? No, it wasn't. It, like, my three-month break Hosted. wasn't planned. It literally was like, hey, guys, I'll see you in a little bit. And a little bit came, I'm like, no. And a little bit more came, I'm like, no. No, that was not planned at all. I just literally just mm -mm, couldn't stream. Skogum, thank you so much for the host. Uh, it's just pre-order. Wait. I just pre-ordered Billy Hole and Sydney Dean Funko Pops. If you know what that's from, you'll remain my favorite. Billy Hole. Hoyle. Hosted. I feel like I should know that. Sydney Dean. Man, I feel like I should know. That sounds so familiar. And what about your street sharks? Uh, down here. This shelf has some street sharks and some other things on it. Uh, I've only got Rocket League Hot Wheels. Good. I feel your collection pain, bud. It, yeah, it's it got bad. Like like I had I had a mental breakdown. I want to say I think it was Saturday. I think it was Saturday. Uh, Zach, thank you so much for the host. Uh, the Homer car, sweet. Woody Harrelson. Oh, white man can't jump. Oh, I know exactly what it is now. 
Damn it. Yep. Yep. I didn't know they made pop. They made Funko Pops? That's awesome. Uh, okay, so tell you what, since we're talking Funko, I'm sorry, I'm modeling. You're good, you're good, you're good. Since we're talking Funko, let's talk some more Funko. And now again, since I said that I'm going to stop collecting, it doesn't mean that I don't have stuff to show, because I've got plenty of this stuff to show. They're coming in June. I've begun pre-order. Uh, no, I, I don't blame you, because um, that's what I did. That's what I did with this, this box right here. I pre-ordered this a long, long time ago. The Amazon exclusive Iron Man Avengers Assemble. Now, I don't have the rest of them. I didn't buy the rest of them. Uh, I just, I wanted this one because I'm a big Iron Man fan. Dude, don't open the box. I need the black and white WandaVision pops. I agree, those look great. Uh, I called you Jade. Sorry. I feel JD. Um, yeah, I had to hold off on that because I couldn't. No, I, I'm not going to. I don't plan on it. I just want Iron Man for my Iron Man shelf. By the way, there's the Time Spacers hat red. Uh, they're an awesome line. Yeah, I just don't have anywhere to put it. I have no idea. So if you're unfamiliar with this, um, these, these pops come with bases. And the bases all intertwine with the six different Avengers. And they all make this uh, kick-ass circle. They're all back-to-back -back, like the original Avengers movie. And uh, if you haven't had a chance to uh, see that, uh, don't worry. They've also made the Avengers Assemble in the Swarma shop where they're all sitting around a table eating. And that's the new one that's coming out. Uh, Moist! I haven't, I haven't watched WandaVision either. So I, I've been a little busy. Thank you, Drew. And yes, this is, this is the official Nerdy Effect 8.0 start. First episode is hard to uh, start but stick with it. Yeah, like a lot of series are like that. Um, we started watching uh, Shit's Creek, and like it, apparently the whole season, the whole thing's over now. But a lot of people were talking about it, like, "Oh, you got to watch it. It's kind of like this fun, like sitcom kind of thing." And I'm like, "Yeah, whatever, whatever." And then like after it ended, a lot of people were like, "No, you really got to watch it." So I finally sat down and watched it. And I'm like, "Of course, the first episode, you're like, hmm," and then by the end of it, you're just like, "Yeah, the show's." pretty damn awesome um very brady bunch <laughs> i'll take i'll i'll take the new set if i'm lucky and quick enough i guess yeah true um i'm watching arrow season six i'm so sorry you need a hug uh i don't think they were ever that big how would you ever display that like life size uh but anyway so yeah this is uh this is the new pickup again i had to pre-order it long before i want to say i pre ordered that back in october or something like that uh, Canadian! Yes, it, it's, a, it's a really great show. Uh, also binging Doom Patrol. I want to see that, because that's got Brendan Fraser in it, doesn't it? I started watching Titans. Seems cool so far, but only on episode three. That one's probably not going to be on my to-watch list. I just, like, my taste, and we talked about this recently, my taste got so washed out whenever it was Arrow and Flash, and it was just, like, so much. And they, they ran out of Green Arrow stories. They started bringing in Batman stories for Green Arrow, and then it just got too much. It got so watered down. I was like, no, I had enough. I'm finally into season two of Supernatural. I plan on watching more during my vacay. Yes, Brendan Fraser returned. Yeah, I heard he was good. I heard he was good in that. Um, Kim's Convenience. I haven't heard of that one. I haven't heard of that one. You know what looked good on those shelves? A Hot Toys collection. Hey, look, look. I know you can't see it. She's right there. My Wanda has always been right there. This is my this is my my mainstay shelf right there. That's got my statues on it. That's got my hot toys on it. That's my mainstay shelf. That's also got my official nerdy effect. Um yeah. So that that's my good one. The K push, listen, man, it, it is it has never not dawned on me the amazement that is that that figure. Um, I didn't watch any of those. I'm still fresh in the DC stuff. I'm just, it's like the first two, three seasons of Arrow, first two seasons of Arrow are masterclass. I love those so much. The season three got a little wee, okay, okay, season four, and then they started bringing in Batman stuff because they were done. Uh, getting fancy. By the way, my wallet's going to hate me massively this year. I have five hot toys on pre-order. I don't blame you, man. It's wonderful stuff. Um, but yeah. So again, I, I just, I probably won't get into the Titan stuff. It's just, I, I don't have the time. I, I just don't have the time. Besides, I'm watching all these awful movies as it is. So yeah. Um, but yeah, so I finally, finally 
ended up picking up a trainee from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Lightning Collection for 25 bucks, which is $5 over retail. But apparently this is the one of those sought after figures in the history of the line. Like you could get Lord Zed for like 15 bucks, but the Yellow Ranger, impossible to find. I, I never understood it. So eventually they'll be up here on this shelf with the rest. These are these are all the flip heads. These are all the original flip heads of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. They're releasing a Truffle Shuffle Pop. Are they seriously? After Arrow died for like the 50th time and came back to life, I was done with it. Yeah, I was too. I was just like, whatever. Lazarus Pit, really? You're talking Batman stuff again? Nah, you have failed this city. I already have 40 pops or so. Uh, I already have 40 or so Hot Toys. Damn, bro. Um, is that a Hot Toys collection? Uh, that's a start. And if I spotted Wanda before. Five I spotted? What? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to have to tap out, bro, and go to bed. I stay for the beginning of 8.0. Uh, Jonesy, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for lending your voice. And uh, don't worry, we're going to have some more Jonesy voices in here, man. Uh, Tranny wasn't around long, was she? Uh, maybe that's why, or is it just the weird thing with the collectors buy the women toys? That is a definite thing. They, they do, they gobble up the women toys. I don't know why. Um, Jonesy, have a wonderful night. Get some sleep, buddy. We'll talk to you soon. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know, because the Blue Ranger was the same way. The Blue Ranger was, like, severely sought after it came out, and I still can't figure it out. Uh, so my nephew asked me why I have toys I never open and play with. It's a waste of money. <laughs> I did not know how to answer him. Help. <clears throat> no, I, 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 I can't. I, that's, that's the problem, is I struggle with that as well. Because um, behind my Michael Jackson Thriller album, which there's two of them right there, by the way, Lady Bells, Dragon, um, is all of my Star Wars Black Series collection. The the good ones are down here. These are my these are my 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 good ones. But right here's unopened Black Series figures. I'll never open them. Number one, because I have nowhere to put them. But number two, that's where they live. I I don't know, and I I can't I can't answer that for you X Files because I am a I am a creature of that as well. Yes, I do open things, but a lot of things I keep in the box as well. Then they go in a tote and I never see them again. And one day it's kind of like, hmm, I wonder if I have that figure. And then I got to pull out 12 totes. I do. Cool. Put it back in the tote. He who dies with the most stuff wins is my motto. <clears throat> sorry. Uh, sorry. Got busy and wasn't able to send you sound clips. Forgot it. Uh, found out the MRI. They want my son to check brain development and probably bankrupt me. Are you serious? Uh, Mies, listen, there's always time to send more if you have them, but do not fret whatsoever, dude. You've got uh, you've got things in front of you you got to worry about first. I uh, appreciate you being here. Maybe we can put a smile on your face just being goofy, but I'm so sorry to hear that, man. Uh, Tannis! Um, I'm weird, and I like boxes. No explanation necessary. There you go. I like boxes. <laughs> I love boxes. This one just happens to have something inside of it. He's a man child and a nerd. <laughs> I have a lot of amiibos that I never open. I don't know. I can't explain it. I'm still looking for your Stormbreaker. Oh no, the Stormbreaker, it's it's over there. It's not back in the show yet. It's not back in here. $4,350 out of pocket after insurance pays the rest. Damn. That's insanity, dude. To open or not to open? Shakespearean dilemma. Uh, never open. Just saying. Well, I mean, I opened up the Stormbreaker. Which, yes, I can get very easily. <laughs> no, I, it's, just, it's just not in the show, because that's just tonight. Quiet, you. Stay over there. It's going to make noise for a while. Thank you. Uh... <laughs> Uh, I had half a closet full of boxes. They belong to toys, shoes, etc. I'm just a video. I'm just a weirdo that appreciates quality packaging. Yes, that's that's the way I'm going to look at it too. But no, no, Lady Bells, I did not get a haircut, and uh, yes, no, I did not. Now, I, I will be honest. I wanted to unveil 8.0 with a haircut. I, I really did. But I, I I haven't done... I talked about this at the end of 7.0. I haven't done enough the cosplays that I wanted to do with my hair. So I couldn't cut it. So that's what I was... I knew what you were thinking. I knew what you were thinking. <laughs> Thank God Stu Padasso was here to push me over the edge. Otherwise, we'd still be looking at a green screen. You guys would be going, mm, ah, uh, mm, ah. Uh. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I was hoping for a new chair. Me too. No, trust me. Me too. It, it's coming. The, the chair has been ordered. It's just it's just not here. I got a Mario Kart Hot Wheels pink Yoshi today. Uh, I like the egg. It came in better than the vehicle. You're like a cat. Uh, man, you've done a lot of cleaning. Yes, yes. There's uh, the, These are the original shelves that you always saw. They, they were just like, they've never been cleaned before. And I had to get down and scrub them. It was crazy. Can we do can we do Logan at some point? You just have to shave into some sweet lamb chops. <laughs> um, you know, I've never done a Wolverine before. I mean, I I probably could, but my face is kind of fat for it, so I don't know. Uh, <laughs> crashed hair. Uh oh, did it crash? I'll be quiet just to make sure we're we're all good. I'm I'm looking okay on my end. Um, <clears throat> I'm. I'm waiting for my son and his girlfriend to finally move out next month so I can so I can get to the six foot lockers I have that has some of my favorite items in it. Ooh. Uh, good here. I found Swiss Miss with Lucky Charms marshmallows. Haven't tried it yet. Gross. Uh, Jizzy, you're not fat. J Dan Fro, you settle down. Do not be. Uh, I read Eating. <laughs> Weirder story. I'm eating for my son and his girlfriend. Wait. <coughs> I, I love that idea. Um, um, uh, no, mom, I cannot possibly finish this spaghetti. Will you eat it for me? Sure. Um, mom in law, he, you can have mine too. Sure. <laughs> I'm eating for for three. Uh, weren't you a Wolverine type character or something for one of your movies? Yes, I was, but not officially on this show. It's a, it's a little different, but yeah, you're right. Do you have any of the crash test dummy toys from the nineties? I do. Um, they are, where the hell are they? <laughs> They're not on display, I'll put it that way. I do have them. Uh, oh, I posted them on Instagram, I want to say probably about six months ago. Because we were talking about, because I finally got the dog and the cat, which was like Skids and Hubcap or something with the name of the, the toys. They were dogs and cats you ran over and they went flat. But I don't have the baby. There's a baby that ejected in a crash test dummy, which is one of the most bizarre toys that has ever been existed. Uh, so I do have them. I just, I, I don't have them displayed. New background. No, this is illegal. I will not tolerate this. What's going on, Baron? Go to your room. I know, I know, I know. Did the giant blow up city make the cut? I didn't see it. Blow up city. Oh no, no, no. It's still right here. I was like, what's a blow up city? No, it, it's, um, the reason it didn't is, uh, the, the base hangs too much off of the, the shelving itself. So if I had it up, it would have to be on a, uh, a lower shelf so it could actually like get the room. Otherwise, I'm going to kick it and break it. Uh, yeah, uh, it was a buggin'. It was a, a biggin'. Uh, I had the baby. I need to see if he's still packed somewhere. Oh, really? I can't remember the name of the kid, though. Uh, do you have any of the California Raisins action figures? I do. They're, they're actually in my toy chest, which we will get to in 8.0. We will 100% open up the toy chest. Look at all the room I have in this room. I can just drag it out. And we can go through the toy chest. They're in there. Um, so I, I'll tell you this part about the, the, the design. So when I did the measurements, I wasn't sure where this center shelf was going to fit. So I kind of just guesstimated and I missed the mark. So right here, this shelf right here is technically not supposed to be here. This is a temporary shelf until I can get another one of these Ikeas. But right now, Ikeas being an a-hole and I can't get one. So eventually, this one will be here. And I want to put Pee-wee's Playhouse up here. And that means that the blow-up Liberty City is going to go where Pee-wee's at. And that'll, I think that'll be perfect. Uh, my grandma had it and it came to me when she passed away. Uh, I have the California Raisins that were based off Michael Jackson. I don't remember those at all. Wait, where's R. Skelly? Is he on vacation, trapped in a closet? Actually, both. Um, how about Police Academy action figures? So that's interesting you say that, um, uh, Cosmic. Uh, yes, I do have some Police Academy figures, and I've been trying to find a decent Police Academy playset. So if you guys don't know, Police Academy, yes, the rated R movie actually spawned a cartoon series that was mixed reviews, but they did release a playset because in the 80s and 90s, it was all about that toy money. And if something happened, people could automatically start putting licensing to it, start making toys. Well, the Ghostbusters Firehouse right here looks awfully similar to the Police Academy Playhouse. So I don't have the playset. I want it. I do have some figures. 
and I haven't showed them. So sometime on this season, I will actually dig through this side husk of things and actually bring them out. <clears throat> uh, yeah, Ikea is having challenge to keep his stuff in stock, uh, waiting to buy some stuff. Me too. Favorite toy as a kid? Mask. It would be. Um, let's see here. If you got a PC, you should get Among Us. I have Among Us. I have a fungus Among Us. Um, I have one of the McDonald's Shrek glass cups I got recalled for some kind of poisonous plant on it. Are you serious? I've never even heard of that. That's awesome. Send me a picture. Um, never heard of that kind of want one now. Me too. Me too. That's, that's what I play. Uh, I, I do have it. I, it, my, it works on my computer. I just, I've never done it to the stream yet. Even more disturbing was Toxic Avenger spawning a children's cartoon movie. No child. For, yeah, I know. Yeah. Which I do have some of those figures as well. Yeah. Toxic Avenger, part of the, the Tromo, uh, I can't pronounce it, but anyway, uh, Kaufman, um, part of his stuff, yeah, this this horrid, like, Tromaville, th this horrid stuff spawned a cartoon that was made by Playmates Toys. It was so stupid. So, Nerdy, um, <laughs> how was it like being on Ridiculousness? Wait, Nerdy, do you have a new sponsor? I do have a new sponsor. Fungus Among Us is a great album. I do have a new sponsor. It is Boy Butter. And it is basically lotion, actually. Um, I'll send you a pic on Instagram. Sweet. That'll work. Um, it was interesting. Be oh, that was a... St I was going to tell you guys a story. I was going to tell you guys a story on the season finale. And I didn't. <clears throat> Ever tried toxic waste candy? Uh, they had gum called Circuit. One bite triggered the gag reflex. Girl! Uh, wait, did I hear butter? You did. Uh, customer, I shall return. You're good, me. So, here's the story, right? So, yes, it, it's funny that you bring that up, Baron. So, it's it's not a claim to fame. It's just something that happened. So, uh, I put my wrestling videos on YouTube, just in general, right? And then I get a, a message from the people at Ridiculousness, and they're like, hey, would you like to be on here? We'll pay you for the video rights and blah, 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 right? And uh, I say, sure, blah, blah, blah. And then they never tell me when the air date is because they don't know. So a friend of mine, he was watching and watching and watching every episode. He's just like, wait for it, wait for it. And then he's like, he, he I think he messaged me or he called me. He's like, dude, you're on this episode. I was like, yes, finally. So anyway, um, this is, this happened, I want to say middle of December, something like that. I am in a customer's office okay i'm in a customer's office i'm working on some of their stuff right and on the back they have uh, a, a big television and the television was on like cnn or one of those things right and they were just watching it and i was like looking up like okay whatever because I, I don't watch any of that I, I i avoided it at all costs right so i'm down there i'm working or whatever and the dude a guy comes in he goes i'm tired of this and he turns it on mtv and it's ridiculous that it's on there and i'm like oh cool you know and i don't think anything of it and it's not my episode it's not it's not the episode that i'm on and i'm just you know whatever doing this stuff or whatever and i get up i leave i come back i leave i come back a couple times I'm, I'm there for probably about two hours and Literally, the dude is sitting there in the chair like this, just watching the, the TV's up here. He's just watching the TV like this. And I see my episode. And I thought to myself, and I'm like, should I tell him? Like, you know, we're not friends, but, you know, we've made casual conversation, you know? And I'm like, should I tell him, hey, that's me? Or is that just like a terrible brag? Like... It's like, who cares? You know, like it doesn't matter. And good luck proving it to this random dude. Like, I don't know. So that was my thought process. I'm curious what you guys think. Should I have told him or did I tell him? Grr, too cocky. Bubbles! Uh, eat the damn butter. That's right. We'll do some bubbles for Baron. We'll do some bubbles for Baron. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. There you go. There you go. Bobbles for Baron. Baron for Bobbles. Look at all those bubbles. <laughs> After a couple of quotes from Nerdy, I'm wondering if he is in the same field as me. I don't know what that means. Uh, I'd have hold him and wait. I, I'd have told him and then pushed his chair over. <laughs> Uh, I would be telling strangers on the street. I would be like a proud parent showing up. <laughs> oh, wow. Ten whole months of subscribing to Gary. Oh, 
Jared's fell in love. Jared's fell in love. Uh, showing off my kid's accomplishment. Uh, oops, did I drop this brag? Let me bend over and pick it up. Extra seductively bends. Now I'm eating popcorn. Drew Mega, thank you so much for... Oh my god, everybody, look at it. Drew Mega has subscribed with Twitch Prime, or is it called Prime? Or Prime Gaming? Yeah, he's been doing it for 10 whole months. And all of you could have been doing it for 10 whole months. That's right. That's why you get the whispering. <sniffs> yeah, Drew Mega. Ooh, subscribing with Twitch Prime. So anyway, sorry. Uh, <laughs> True, thank you, buddy. Um, have you met the toy hunter? I have not. Uh, extra salty. Uh, there's a terrible brag, nerdy. Don't brag about a 1985 wrestling video. It's not 1985! Um, but yeah, so, again, the, my episode's on there, and the randomness of it being on there, because that show's been on for, like, ten years. It's been on forever! And the, the chances of them playing my episode while this dude's watching is very rare. And I'm just kind of like, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, should I... Should I tell him? Should I tell him? Should I, should I be like, hey, man, uh, th that's me. That's me right there in the red shirt. <laughs> like, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> Look at the microphone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, no tits on Twitch, no sub. Exactly. Um, so the answer is I didn't. I just shut up. I, I just, I sort of watched and went like, and then went back to back to what I was doing. Um, but, <laughs> but my thought, I, I, a couple things raised. Number one was... The scenario, okay, he's sitting there watching it, you know, like, you know, like that. And I go, hey, man, that, that I'm actually on this episode, you know, and he'd go, oh, cool, tell me the story. You know, okay, cool, and then I tell him the story like I told you guys. Or the second scenario where he goes, yeah, right, and I'm like, no, no, that, that's really me, you know, that's, that's my friend's backyard and blah, 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 you know, and he's like, yeah, right, you know, and then I got to prove it, and then the, the third scenario, the third scenario is him going, okay, <laughs> you know, so I just, I, did, I didn't want, I did not want to face any of those scenarios of this guy, none of them, absolutely none of them, uh, just, no, so I didn't, but it was very interesting, him watching it, and I'm just kind of like, he has no idea, he just saw me, <laughs> There's always a flip side, though. If Nerdy shows his tits, he may never donate again. Well, that's true. You absolutely should have told him. Uh, this is Nerdy. Hey, 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 guy. What? Nerdy, it's me. Guy, I don't care. Your videos suck. I know. The twist of this entire story is that the custodian was me. I wouldn't have believed him. I know. Like, I mean, put yourself in that situation. Like, like do it this way. Like, let's say you're watching a TV in a waiting room and some random dude who you you ask for directions or something comes up and like, hey, that's me on the television. What do you say? Cool. <laughs> High five. I don't care. Go away. Here's a carrot. Like, what do you say? <laughs> hey, that's me. Hey, I don't care. I know. I would have been, yeah, right. You know it would have been no right. No right. Hey, I don't care. Cool hair. <laughs> uh, Pixar didn't happen. I mean, I have the video. You know, I mean, I don't keep it with me. I was like walking down the street. I'm going to go grocery shopping. Hey, this is me. This is, I don't brag about it. It's just something that happened. Um, do you still have the video? Yeah, I still have the video. I have the entire match. <laughs> I have everything from it. Again, it, it was it was very simple. It was a, it was a simple thing. They they said, "Hey, we like your video. We want to purchase for it for um, <laughs> inevitable reruns, and we'll cut you a tiny tiny check." And I'm like, "Sweet, let's do it." You know, that's it. I would have certainly bragged. Uh, you were on the telly for God's sakes. I know. And it wasn't. I mean, I wouldn't say it's a bad thing. It's not like they caught me like like. Did you see the aliens? I did. They were in the cornfield right over yonder right there. I saw them. They were tall and skinny, had big old eyeballs, and they were like on the grayscale color out there. They are out there like they want to probe my butt. Like, at least I wasn't that guy. Uh, nerdy, all jokes aside, a serious question. Who won the match? I did. I did. Uh, dude, try to get Rob Deerdick as the sponsor of the show. <laughs> yeah, right. Let me get right on that. Hey, dude. You know, you know, I was on your show, right? You, 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 you said something funny about me. No, no. Uh, so go on. How much do they give you? Generally interested. Not a lot. So, Papa Jizzy. That's right. I'm a, Rob Dyrdek. Hop right. Rob 
Dyrdek's teeny, man. He could he could pop up here like a tiny puppet. I would have said F you streamer. <laughs> uh, could even give him a segment dedicated to him. Dyrdek's dirty secrets or something. Remember the dumbass that jumped into the ground? That was me. Give me money. Yeah, no. Again, it's it's not a braggable thing, but it did cross my mind to go, hey, that's me. And it, I just didn't. I'm going to make a guess and say $250. You'd be way high. Uh, <laughs> the Deer Dick Show 8.0. Now you're thinking. Now you're thinking on the flippy flop right there. Um, I did not nearly get through enough stuff. Um, an hour and a half seems enough. Um, I'm going to do that to people at work. Just randomly tell them I was in shows. Hey, I was in Dynasty. What? <laughs> they won't question it. No. After the tiny comment of chances of sponsorship, that just went out the window. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, he's like he's not going to be on this show. Not because it's my choice, because it's it's literally he's a famous person and I'm a tiny Twitch. I'm actually surprised that Rob Deerdeck hasn't started a Twitch channel to take more viewers away from people trying to do this. You know, like some celebrities on here that I could rant about forever. Oh, what am I? I'm a rich and famous, world famous celebrity that everybody knows their name. Do you have lots of money? I do. Do you need more money? Always. Well, why don't you go on Twitch? I will. I'll go on Twitch. Say, hey, it's me, famous person, insert name here. Lodi freaking doll. A hundred thousand people have followed me in one day. Eek! I must be famous! Yay, f***ing are! You haven't earned a damn thing! Ah, anyway, sorry. No, uh, you know, uh, ironically, I do not put Andy in that category. I don't. Like, he was he was very small on, I think it was Tom Green show or something. He just really wasn't. Like, I mean, he had a, a few small things and hits there. But, like, I don't know. AJ Styles? One of the best top wrestlers in the entire fucking world has a Twitch channel. 600 people watch him a night and he's like, I can't believe I made Twitch partner in like a day and a half. Look at me with my crazy facial hair. Really? Of course you did. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm on 8.0. Uh, so I can do this all night. I can do this all night. Uh, I'm going to start a petition to get Glenn Hippog on I don't know who that is. <laughs> uh, Nerdy, is it weird to put headphones on and listen to your intro over and over? No, it's not. Uh, wait, you're not AJ Styles on subs. <laughs> no, I already did my AJ Styles. <laughs> Were you asleep, nerdy? Probably. Glenn, somebody is big in Sweden or something. That time blank went to TwitchCon and it's a nonstop. Can I get a pick, bro? I don't know who that is, but <laughs> who is that? Emilio? Is that Emilio Estevez? Who the hell is that? Glenn Hiccup was Tom Green's co-host. <laughs> I didn't know he had a co-host. <laughs> a few famous people on Twitch. Like, like I said, I, I don't put Andy in that category. I just don't. I just, I just don't. Just, there's just some people. They just like, yes. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> uh, that's Andy. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. No, I, I don't put him in that category. Surprisingly, I probably should, but I don't. And what does my opinion matter? Uh, nerdy. I need to know how tall you are in person. I am six one. Emilio, I want him to sign my Charlie Conway hockey stick. But first, I want to get a Charlie Conway hockey stick. Do they make a Charlie Conway hockey stick? Do they actually do that? You got to get a Mighty Ducks jersey. Uh, I'm one of the small amount of people who love the Tom Green show. I love Tom Green show too. I just don't remember he had a sidekick. What I really remember from Tom Green show is two things. Number one, the turd on the microphone. I remember that. And then I remember that he... He had his parents' car airbrushed for lesbian sex, <laughs> which was hilarious. He did a lot of other great stuff. Uh, I'd take your jizzy over AJ any day. Wait, that didn't sound right. Yes, it did. Yes, you had it perfect. Um, Andy Manakis was famous in my eyes for the time on The Man Show, and then he went on to have his own show for a bit. Goodbye, Natty. Gonna go enjoy Raw. Later, buddy. Have a great night. Good to see you. Uh, yes, I remember the shit microphone. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember. There's a couple things. I mean, I grew up that, that same, that MTV generation with that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, I just, I just don't understand why it's like, hey, I'm famous and have a mansion and stuff and I want to stream and I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. <laughs> and then my biggest pet peeve, and then I'm, and then I'm done, and then I'm done. My biggest 
pet peeve is when they just don't host anybody. Really? You got 600 people in there and you're just like, bye everybody, click, done. And there's 600 people's like, well, when they could literally use that for good, they could go to the bottom of Twitch and be like, here's somebody with two viewers trying their damnedest to do something. Here's 600 people from somebody, insert famous person's name, and they're just like, bye, I'm going to go sit in my golden toilet. Uh, they can't be bothered. I know. Does Adam Carolla do anything anymore? I don't know. Um, I once had a commercial. I took an entire day to shoot and had like the lead when the commercial aired. I realized they changed all of my shots for some close-ups with a famous actor. I was just a placeholder. Oh, man. Celebs crave attention. I know. The Red Green Show was a cool comedy show about Canadian air to public TV here. I've actually done a Red Green cosplay on this show. I've actually done that. Because I grew up watching Red Green on PBS. And we talked about it one day, like, randomly. And actually, Red Green Jr., his son, streams on Twitch. Now, that's a guy who I think is okay to stream. Yes, he worked on the Red Green Show. But he's not... It's not his dad doing it. It's not like his dad brought the Red Green Show to Twitch. He's doing it. He watches the old show, the old episodes... And he talks about it and he brings insight to it. That's different. That's a different thing. And I really, actually, I really enjoy it. Uh, sometimes I pop in there just to see the old episodes and stuff. Uh, if they don't call you handsome, at least they call you handy. Uh, a podcast, maybe. Uh, been a while since I heard him or seen him. I don't know. Uh, yeah, Adam Carolla has just sort of faded off. Uh, cool. Uh, Sasha Gray, though. What about Sasha Gray? Uh, Tom, Glenn on the Tom Green Show. Member? I do not. Let me click that, and all of a sudden, Tom done broke me. Tom only watched the Tom Green show because his name is Tom. I got to see this picture now that we've been talking about it. And yeah, and there's no way that I'm the only one that feels this way about it. It's like, literally, like, I work a 40-hour week. They, they like, go outside and sign autographs at, you know, a con. I know it's, it's 2020. Oh, my God. Why do you have to send... Why can't you just send me a picture? Like, why do you got to send me a website, you bleeding bastard? I don't remember him. Wow, that's that's pretty sad. I do not remember that guy. At all. Like, at all. I guess I can close that. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> are they ew shelves or did you have a big move around? I meant new. No, they're ew. She's a Twitch streamer now. Are you serious? Terry Crews is a cool dude. I agree. What happened? What, why are we on Terry Crews now? Is she famous or, or is her body famous? Serious question. <laughs> Apparently he cleaned. I'm not sure what he was talking about. Uh, she has to do something while she's clothed, I guess, right? I don't know, man. It's just... I don't know. Th there should be There should be like a famous like section, and that's where all the famous people go. Like that, you go over there. You don't get to stream in the just chatting. Uh, do you know Tom Green? Did you know Tom Green in his early days was a Canadian rap group called Organized Rhyme? I did not know that. <clears throat> Terry Crews is on Twitch. Are you serious? I like him a lot, but come on. Uh, Danny has been talking about Crews for 30 minutes. He just started reading. I don't know why he's just rambling. Uh, basically, Tom used to harass him. He'd been talking and then all of a sudden throw his drink at him glass and all another time he had someone come up and pour six pints of milk over him i do not remember him i need, I need to watch some some stuff there are several porn actresses that have twitch channels hmm. that's right the other five were delicious six pajico i don't know man it's just it just bothers me it just i know it shouldn't it doesn't affect me you know it's not like it's not like they're taking my viewers but it's just i don't know it just bothers me like, why do you need extra? Why do you need extra, like, famous time? I don't know. Can you still recognize them dressed? <laughs> probably. I mean, they, they got to do a lot of this. But you can probably still recognize them. <laughs> they're not taking your viewers, but they're giving them rods of steel. I didn't say I watched them. No, no, no. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Awesome kids game show on public TV. The acapella group Rockapella was awesome. I know the game, but I don't know Rockapella. I, that's, uh, that's a new one on me. Anyway, so I digress, but 
Um, what I do say is my collection is better than Jason Mew's. So, all right, moving on. Uh, <laughs> It's been eating me up. It's been eating me up, man. Just eating me up. Uh, see, that's 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 the kind of stuff that gives you ulcers. That's the that's the kind of stuff that gives you ulcers at night. It's just kind of like um, square one. That does not ring a bell. Uh, I have seen them on the uh, autism show. I don't know that one either. Uh, check the O R. You like it so far? <laughs> you need to do some clothes changing and dancing streams. Your viewer account will skyrocket. I do. There's a literal uh, nerdios thing you cash in for me to change outfits. And yes, I have played Tom Green's The Bum Song on my radio show. Yes, 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 yes. Tigers go raw. I can't throw far. What the hell? <laughs> ah, just... Just busting a rhyme. Uh, but no, no, I do dance in my costumes. Uh, Tom Green saw... Oh! <laughs> Red rhyme first. <laughs> the watermelon smash. Uh, you're lucky I still have this thing. Uh, check the R's. One hit wonder from Tom Green rap group. All right. Oh! It's not set up. It, wa it, it wasn't set up. Uh, I'll, I'll redeem it. I'll, I'll, I'll give you your points back. Um... Uh, I don't remember that. So, all right. So we're getting close to the end of the uh, the season premiere. And uh, uh, what's your thoughts on the '80s He-Man film with Dolph Lundgren? I think it's great. I think it's. I think it's still. I think it's still fun. Not set up. Just gotta dump water on yourself. Then. Oh yeah. True. <laughs> Them's the breaks. Dang it. Uh, so one of the things when I when I had to move my my case from here to beyond the mat over here. Um, there was a calendar that was hung on the side that nobody ever got to see. And I want to say I showed this, but I want to show it before I put it in storage. Just because I really like this, um, this type of artistic work, this like, like 30s, 40s, futuristic stuff, early 50s kind of stuff. Um, of course, we're going to start with Uranus. Um, this is from 2017, by the way, 2017 and 2018. I learned that Nerdy used a green screen during 7.0 too early. Uh, looks Fallout-esque. Yeah, that's why I like it. Old school art. Well, it's not. It, it's new school, but it's it's representing. So there's Jupiter. Europa Air can get you there. Oh, we're rhyming again. Does he use sewing as his sphincter? Ooh, no, it's Uranus. The moon. Like I said, I haven't looked at this in a long time either. I think it was stuck on July or something. Uh, Planet 9, because apparently we can't call it Pluto anymore. <laughs> no, Dan. No. Oh, I, I think Saturn has always been my favorite planet, and I can't tell you why. I, d I don't know why. I, I think the rings are just cool. Guess I knew you had a green screen because you always do the round table. But I'm, pff, Planet Nine, great band name. Is that a real band name? Europa. That's a band. Experience Venus. <clears throat> Where are your GoBots? My GoBots are in my case over here, and I don't have very many because GoBots suck. <laughs> I said it. Uh, Titan. I think that's one of the places we could actually probably land on. Pretty sure Titan's a uh, like. I think it's partly habitable. I don't remember. A hundred thousand lovers. Yes, let's go. Let's go biking on Mercury. <laughs> Uh, Titan, but only if you're good. Damn! Experience Venus. Your first time will blow your mind. It's the final asteroid belt. Rocket propelled zip lines. Can you imagine how fun that would be? That would be cool. Going in space and... <laughs> That's where Deer Dick... <laughs> uh, stream God again here. Uh, Mars. Explore the red planet. I don't know. I, I like this art style. Uh... See the cryo volcanoes. Wow. The cryo volcanoes. I couldn't say that word. I've never seen it before. Biking on Mercury. Hope the sunscreens have PF5 million. Uh, boost Titan. The planet sh on Titan is a secret lab chair. Get out of here. Uh, restart my browser. 
Uh, explore the Red Planet. We could use that for naughty jokes. And then uh, December. Oh, they do have Plutos. What the hell's the ninth planet? I don't know. Uh, ski the small planet that's big on fun. I don't know. Like I said, this was this was always on the side over there. And then that was it. That was it. This is from uh, Calendars for Today, Orange Circle Studios. I don't know. Planet Nine, because there aren't 12 planets, I guess. Let that sink in. Plop Zone's back. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Red, you have the power. Yes, he does. Uh, I think we can do one more thing. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Uh, this, again, I bought this before I had my epiphany of too much crap. Uh, of the Booyah! <laughs> Drunk boy, what's going on, Don? Welcome back, buddy. Um, so this is before I had my uh, my epiphany, uh, but this is brand new. You can find these. I found this at Walmart. You can find these in your own shelves. Um, but yeah, apparently they have decided to bring back micro machines. Micro machines are now a real thing again. <clears throat> decided to get this mainly for the old school roadster, but I thought it was cool they included a motorcycle with this. What else is interesting? Come on now. There we go. Really? There's literally nothing else there. There we go. So they actually include a set in here so you can actually park your cars in the garage, which is pretty damn cool. Micro Machines, incredible. I used to love these as a kid. Glad they brought them back. Yeah, I do have some Micro Machines uh, in the collection. Uh, I want to say I paid seven bucks. I think it was seven. But it does have a little garage that's in there, which is actually really neat. There's a there's a full garage back there that you can uh, park the cars in. I think that's pretty awesome. Leto! <laughs> Leto, thank you so damn much. 34 months. Damn. Damn. Dude, appreciate you. Thank you, buddy. I'm going to have to peek for them. <clears throat> Oh shit, what's going on, Twisted? You like my green screen? First, they bring back micro machines. Next, GoBots. GoBots sucked then, they'll suck now. <laughs> I have great nostalgia for micro machines games on Mega Drive, Genesis, and MS DOS. Uh, love the shelves. Uh, yeah, it's clean AF. Did Nerdy blow bubbles? I did, I did blow bubbles. Uh, so, yeah, these are some of the other sets. They're actually making brand new full play sets. A little military, a little construction work. I didn't see the construction work. I would probably like to get those as well. Just because it's kind of cool to have the little things. A nerdy blue R. Skelly. No, my aunt got me Star Wars micro machines years ago. I wasn't meant to open. I did. I've got an entire tub of Star Wars micro machines that I, ha I don't think I've ever showed in this show. I might have briefly one time. Like, like here it is, but they're not, they weren't fixed. It was just like parts of it. I probably need to dig that out. Uh, wait, what dime? <laughs> you missed it. Enjoy this. Your free time is stuck in my head now. No, no. Uh, uh, whisper it to me though. But yeah, these are brand new. I just got them. I want to say two weeks ago, week and a half, something like that. I'm assuming you have a new camera or is it really a green screen? What do you think? Twisted. I'll, I'll put it up. Do you think that that now, now granted, it was only uh, like a week and two days ago that I streamed um, with my normal background. Do you think that's a green screen that I thought was kind of cool and put it all together? You think that's real? Without glue, micro machines are only are name only. True. I had the Power Rangers micro machines. They were really cool. Hold that thought. Um, <sighs> I saw a Predator line of 12 inch figures at Walmart made by Lennar Toys. I saw those as well. I passed on them because they look cheap AF. Uh, did you actually know kids that didn't open toys when they were younger? I'd have thought they were a mutant or something. I agree with you. Like, there was a time where I would get a toy, and sometimes it would be open before we got to the car. And then sometimes it's like, you gotta wait, you gotta wait. And then, so I had to wait till I got to the car, then I opened it, lost all the damn, you know, weapons and stuff. I found my Slave 1 Micro Machine playset. Pretty cool. Sweet. Honestly, I think it's a new camera. So you think this is a green screen? You think it's the green screen back there? Predator has a shocking amount of merch. It's crazy to anybody else. I didn't realize he was so popular. Yeah, I mean, uh, he had his own damn toy line, along with a rated R Terminator 2 had his own toy line. 
really? Uh, <laughs> I never opened my Hess trucks when I was a kid. Yeah, oh man. Hess trucks, they're just something different. It's got a lot of expensive statues too. No, I think that's your setup. I think whatever your camera you're using is a lot sharper than the last. The answer, I'll tell you the, I'll tell you the real truth. The real truth is that is the exact same camera I've always had. It is just on it's on its perfect um, behavior tonight. And I think a lot of it has to do with the background being low lit rather than high lit. Um, I think that changes it. So the camera focuses more on me and leaves the background alone to let it do its own thing. Because the background has its own like back lighting, so it helps everything out a little bit more. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Predator is in Fortnite now. I saw that. I saw that. Use code Freddy's ready. I like that. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Ah, uh, that's what it is. Light composition. It is. It is. Highlight. All right. So you said uh, we'll do the we'll do the toy off the shelf. We'll do the toy off the shelf. So the Power Rangers Micro Machines. I can easily find them now because I can walk over here. It's so wild and different. <laughs> Do you have any of these small soldiers toys? We talked about that on my last show. The answer is yes, but they're in the trunk. Um, I had those exact ones. Uh, it's because he finally cleaned his room. I did. Uh, why do you do this? Why do I do what? And Rumi, aw, oh, Zach is Diddy. <laughs> why do I do what? Oh, why do I show you stuff? Oh, I understand. Uh, or is it, no, that, that would be Zach. That would be Zach. I think you dropped something. I could see the floor. <laughs> I know. Uh, trust me. I, I understand. I have a few of the small soldiers figure. Chip Hazard is the coolest one. I have Chip, Nick Nitro, and Archer. Those are the ones that I have. I don't have anybody else. I don't think. Um, I got a new studio. I moved to the garage. That's awesome. Hell yeah, man. Is it insulated? Is it well insulated? Uh, but yeah, so these are brand new. These just launched. The Micro Machines. They're, they are back. They are back. So you at least learned something tonight. And apparently the show feeds my need in an unhealthy way. And I love it. Trust me. Believe me. Like... If you think at any point in time that you've watched this show and like, oh, cool, I need that. You got to think, I already have it. <laughs> and the three other things that I had to have so that Tom could have a repressed memory and uh, Lady Bells could be like, oh, that's in my foot locker. That's in my son's room that I have to eat all his food in order to get. Something like that. Hell no, bro. It's cold AF. I have two heaters. Damn, get three heaters. I uh, think they'll launch a new uh, fold-out van, too. Uh, I might have to invest. I definitely think they'll do something like that. It may not be the exact van, but it'll probably do something like that. Uh, do you have any poopers? I do have a lot of poopers. Uh, wearing the Power Rangers file in my brain <laughs> is so easily accessible right now. <laughs> Fizz, how are you doing, buddy? Uh, um... Uh, what's your thoughts on the Ghostbusters toy lines out now? Are you talking about the uh, the Plasma series? Or are you talking about um, the new movie that's that they keep pushing back? Because the the Plasma series I like. I just I don't I don't think that that Dana and Zool have to be twenty dollars because they're kind of. Um, Pink! What's going on, Pink? <laughs> Give tour, please. Well, it's very simple. Pink, welcome to the Nerdy Effect. I am your host. They call me Nerdy. This is the Nerdy Effect. This is my lovely green screen. Plasma Kenner Say reissue hallelujah. and the new line Say from the new hallelujah. movie. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Appreciate that follow, Pink. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. <laughs> hmm, Say rough hallelujah. times trying to hold hallelujah. it all together. Uh, I think we all are. I think we all are. So here, here's the quick answer. I think the Plasma series is great. I love and slash hate the retro line, and I haven't seen much of the new series. Um, but it's probably... Uh, I was lied to. What is this? It's fake. What do you think? What, what do you think, Pink? Do you think that's a fake background? I think that's a green screen? Am I too well lit and that's too backlit? What do you think? Um, Edge just declared himself the 2001 Royal Rumble. Awesome. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm praying it's real. What do you think? Do you, you know, final answer. Final answer. You were on the spot. Pink, you're on the spot. Final answer. Real or fake? Pretend, oh, hang on. Hang on. Remember to talk into the banana. 
<laughs> uh, it is a real background. Sent you a pick in Discord. Bet you don't have these. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. <laughs> it's really fake. <laughs> uh, he's new here. Be nice to him. Um, the new series Ghostbusters uh, film action figures kind of have a 90s look like the Police Academy figures. I haven't seen them. What happened to the Banana Hammer? It's right here. Don't worry. The Banana Hammer didn't go too far. <laughs> uh, Muff Mower for Women's 2001 Rumble. What? <laughs> Uh, no, it is pink. It is uh, it is a it is a real, real background. Or my green screen is huge. I'm gonna have a squash banana. Uh, do you have a creepy monkey with symbols? I know it's iconic, but I've never actually seen one aside from a cartoon or whatever. Uh, fake like Jizzy's extensions. I'm shocked. Wow, amazing. Thank you. Uh, what happened to Maddie Collector? I don't know who that is. I love and want. Um, no, I do not have a crazy monkey symbol uh, with the eyes and the chee chee. No, I do not. I always smash those things in Fallout 4. He's a hoarder. I am. I am a hoarder. Um, and for the most part, I can I can pretty much like produce something. Like something. Oh, so we're in the season premiere of 8.0. I wanted to show you guys this. Uh, we talked about the Jerry Springer game, but something I want to try to play that didn't fall. Where's our Skelly in your dreams? How long take you to collect that? Um, all my life. Uh, why is pink green? <laughs> Everybody's green. Everybody's green except for uh, except for Sex Psycho and Lady Bells. But Lady Bells doesn't talk in this show anymore. She's too busy eating spaghetti. Uh, just creepy. I wonder if parents did that place of coal for Christmas for bad kids. <laughs> uh, am I green? I like green too. Good. Green's good. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I talked about what I want to do this season. I talked about what I want. I want to slow down on my collecting because I already knew it was a problem, but I sort of fell back on having new shelves as going to fix my collecting problem and it didn't. So I know that I actually have to um, slow down on it. So one of the things that I want to sort of spin up is more interactive streams. So yes, it'll still be qualified as an episode. So we're not going to get off the episode track, but I would like to have more interaction, kind of like what we did through the Discord stuff, like when we played the um, Not Your Father game. Uh, something else that I picked up recently, and I'm going to figure out how to do this hopefully by Friday, um, and we'll play Awkward family photos. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. It's a it's a quick kind of card game. Um, but yeah, so I kind of want to play this on Friday. <clears throat> Seems like I'm not green either. Oh no, is that Napoleon? I don't know. No, I'm actually trying not to fall asleep. I'm um, sad to say I didn't go to bed until four this morning and I slept three hours. I'm so exhausted. I understand, Le Lady Bells. I'm just giving you. I'm just giving you uh, a lot of ace, nerdy. When I was younger, I had a little guy that attached to your window, you would pull his pants down and moon the person next to you. It was like a kid version of flipping somebody off. Ever seen that? Um, so it like, you're talking like a car window, like it was stuck on there. I remember a Garfield that, that sort of had something like that, but I don't remember that specific one. Our skeleton. Yes. Yes, he is, Tom. Yes, he is. I wish I had some spaghetti. Color check. You're green on mine, Fizz. <laughs> Um, how do you play that? We'll talk about that. Uh, we'll talk about that on Friday. Uh, the not your father game was hilarious. And I want to do more of that. I, I want to spend, I want to spend more time playing these type of games, like just for fun. And, and, and I don't want to run its course with the not your father. Like that should be played every two to three months rather than every month. It's just, there's, there's not enough substance there to continue to play the game monthly, and it needs to be used sparingly. However, there are I have a lot of board games in my collection. <sighs> a lot. And I'll tell you something. If you, if you think that Marvel Legends don't store easy, board games damn sure don't store easy. So trying to drag those out and trying to incorporate those into streams is something I'm going to try like very actively to do. I'm buffering. Oh, no. I'm buffering here, too. Thanks, Twitch. I'm good now. Damn it. Refresh y'all. Now black screen. Oh no. Bad crash. 
It wasn't on me. Did we crash or is it just me? Hmm. No video. <laughs> Happen all the damn time. I don't know, man. It it didn't seem like it was on me. My stuff is solid. So I don't know. That that must have been a Twitch thing. Yeah, mine's still rolling pretty solid. So anyway, what I was saying is um I'm gonna try to incorporate more board games into this show. It's uh something that I wanna do because I, I think that the the more interactive that we do, the better it'll actually be. I think it was Twitch for sure. I was sitting here, then you buffered hard. Now, my stuff didn't move. My my uh, my stream didn't falter. Okay, back now too. Good, good. Welcome back, welcome back. Uh, Twitch has been doing this. Yeah, it's it's probably, you know, going through things. Are we going to be having wrestling shows? Yeah, wrestling's coming back. Wrestling's coming back. I just, I need to get, I need to get back in the swing of things. I was thinking beginning of February, which is like next week, so... Let me clarify, not F chat, but the fact that your chat is green. No, I understand. I, I get what you're saying. Uh, I show up to watch a stream and then it tries to crash. It was Orca. That's what happened. It was damn Orca. He's the one that did it. Uh, F us. My stream has been fine. And when I watch it back, it sucks. Yeah, it, it happens. Green. Reloading still audio only. Uh, I switched over to... Zelna vegan then come back. Zel Zelna Vega then come back. Uh, gonna say nights. Uh, just got up from a seven hour nap, so probably should start doing chores. I thought you were gonna say so. Probably should take a nap. <laughs> it's me. It's always me. Uh, when else is when all else fails? Blame Stu. No, I don't think it was Stu's fault. I don't think it was Stu's fault at all. Seven hour nap. <laughs> is that like a snack that consists of two pizzas? <laughs> so anyway. My plan is to play this on Friday. Um, I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember how many players it has. I think it's like five or something like that. But anyway, that's that's some future stuff. And I, and I have more down the pipeline as well that I'm actually going to actively try to build games that we can play on this stream. So we won't just we won't just keep it all like in this little tiny like oh we'll play this game this game this. No, I want to have a bunch of different ones to play. So that's that's the future of it. Uh, start sending your very real awkward family photos to Nerdy now. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Um, it would be funny. I, I know I can probably find one of my mullet ones. Um, when, when I was a kid, you know, and, and Reebok was cool. You know, you're, you're posing kind of like this, and I got a mullet going on. Not, not kick-ass cool long hair, but like a mullet. Did you ever try... Um, Little Hope Horror. No, I didn't. It's still in the damn wrapper. Like, I got it, and I'm like, I want to play this, and then the day I was going to play it, something happened, and I couldn't. It's it's sitting right next to my damn PlayStation. I have it. I just haven't played it yet. Um, I got some real dorky ones. I, I'm pretty much sure everybody does. Um, I have one with a tux on and hair past my shoulders. Oh shit, gotta find some of my long hair pics when I was 10. I had hair down in my ass. I have some funny old family photos. I think everybody would. I, I like. There's no way they don't. I mean, there's an entire board game with an expansion pack dedicated to this. And that's just what was leaked on the internet. So, yeah, I'm sure it exists. A Mowlet. A hairstyle only available in the Midwest. Hi, Crazy K, you turn me into a cactus. Crazy K. I got a freaking Olin Mills one sitting around here somewhere. Um, Crazy K, thank you so damn much for that one. Yeah. Um, was there ever a Mighty Morphin Power Range board game? I wonder. Yes, there, there was a couple of them, actually. I don't have any, um, but they were terrible. Maced, welcome back. Uh, eight months. Crazy K, you are amazing. Thank you very much. We got to do multiplayer after you beat it. I, I, I want to. It's still on my to-do list. Uh, Crazy K. Crazy K. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to do, uh, before we cap it off. Um, there will be a show tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we're, we're going to celebrate Australia Day. That's right. Good day, everyone. This is my Australian voice. And Horn is going to slowly creep up behind me and stab me with a didgeridoo. What is my feet keep rolling on? Oh, attack! Um, 
someone someone got me Plague Inc. the board game for Christmas one year. I think it was my sister. I don't remember that one. Um, I want the Funko Groundhog's Day board game. It could suck, but Groundhog's Day, so I don't care. Crocky. <laughs> <clears throat> Good eye, my E. I'm doing better. Good to hear you, Crazy K. Uh, thank you so much for stopping back in. Uh, um, I'm buying you some something you might be interested in. Someone let me post a link, please. Uh, but yeah, so that's eventual. And like I said, I got a bunch of board games. I just The problem with it is trying to integrate it so that we can play it on the stream and you guys don't have to like physically be here or accept cards. That's the hardest part. Holy crap! Power Rangers Incredibility Power Rangers 3D Wood Model. Damn. Damn. No, it's not NWO. It's not NWO. It's Nerd World Order. By the way, if anybody was wondering, uh, the amazing Red Walrus is actually the designer of this. <clears throat> I'm the wearer. He's the designer. He's the mastermind. That's not a link. That's it. This is a link. <laughs> Let's play Monopoly. Nerdy has to roll for everyone. I've actually played Monopoly on the PS4 on this this thing, and it is boring and terrible, and everyone hates each other, even though I'm pushing the X button. Uh, Red is the man. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm buying that wooden dragon sword. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Red is the designer. You're not wrong. He is. No, no. Red is my designer. I'm keeping him. He's mine for me. Um, I want to see that nerdy haggle with himself and trade properties. Come on, dude. Sell me Boardwalk. I ain't selling your ass Boardwalk. This is where I'm going to make all my money back from you. Come on, dude. We're family. We need to be able to play this game properly. Yeah, we family going to play this game properly whenever I beat your ass and start rubbing it in your face. Come on, dude. Don't be like that. I'm going to be like that. Now pay up, sucker. Um, You get nasty on a... <laughs> no proof. Um... That one time Meast uh, took forever. Oh, dude. Um, no, it, like, I don't... Monopoly sucks. <laughs> uh, we play Double Trouble with Problematic Bubble. <laughs> the dice shoots across the room or something. Um, yeah, so that happened. Uh, broom of Metal Bristles, you commoners. <laughs> I love that. I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, so that's the future. Uh, tomorrow is a show. Um, I might substitute tomorrow's show for Wednesday so I can get some things on track for Friday. So more than likely, it'll be tomorrow, off Wednesday, Thursday, and then back for Friday. Toy Story insists upon itself. It's true. Hey, we're almost coming up on the year anniversary of that. Damn. Like, I love that they started putting dates next to it. Uh, that's pretty awesome. That tracks. I know. I know it does. Uh, so let's do it. Let's uh, let's let's get out of here and uh, see if this works. Ah, it does! Yay! I don't know if my uh, I don't know if my chat will work, but we're gonna we're gonna see if it's uh, like I said. When you start changing camera views and stuff, it gets a little it gets a little wonky. <clears throat> um, let's see. I I'm looking forward to watching the new outro. I bet you are, Tom. I bet you are. Of course, it's uh, not going to work. Oh, I broke my... I learned Nerdy went fancy. There it went again. Did it drop? Hmm. Crash. Refresh. I learned <laughs> I learned Nerdy Effect 8.0 buffers a lot. Stomp, walk, and find the stream. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. <laughs> rip, live rip. Live rip. <laughs> Uh, we were enjoying it. Uh-oh. I didn't do it. I learned that you can turn shelves white by rubbing boy butter on them. Yes. Yes, you can. On oh, that nerdy's light composition is gangsta AF. Oh, twisted. Hang on. Don't go anywhere. You haven't seen anything yet. Those pixels got so big. Oh, damn. I learned you make your room awesome. Uh, I didn't drop entirely, but you jumped around like your claymation. Oh, boy, Rudolph. Uh, gonna say later before it gets wild. No, Fox, no. Uh, I learned 8.0 is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna smash you, Twitch. Work, you bastard. Uh, I learned that Nerdy is a devious mofo. Wait, I already knew that. Tee -hee. I learned Nerdy is a proper streamer now. I learned there is such a thing as boy butter. You need to get you some. Don't eat it, though. 
I learned that if I tell Nerdy something cool, he'll buy it before you get a chance. I love and hate it. I know. I learned that when I show up, the stream crashes. I learned that Nerdy knows what YMCK is. <laughs> I learned that I'm still laughing at the word Uranus. That's because you're 12. Uh, I learned to the common eye, the background looks fake, but those with attention to detail know better. Yes. I learned Nerdy's going to let us come play with his chest. <laughs> I learned nothing. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. You don't have to learn anything tonight. Um, it is one of those. All right, so let me go back real quick. Let me let me go back because I, I gotta show because Twisted Twisted wasn't here for this. So let me let me Twisted. So if you if you think the light game is good, check this out, man. Ooh. I learned that the gauntlets are trying to grab Michael Jackson. They're holding him up. I learned that Nerdy makes red work for peanuts, and red is allergic to peanuts. <laughs> Miss a show? We'll show you later. <laughs> it's true. It's very true. It's damn true. There you go. Uh, that's pretty. We've really come around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, red is allergic to peanuts. I can't believe nobody ever knew that. He's like, thank you, Nerdy, but I have another. <laughs> <laughs> uh so yeah my light game is getting there it, it's not it's not at 100 percent where i want it but it is it is getting to that position there we go full lighted background enhance 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 i learned that hand job cuffs are still relevant yeah they're still there don't you worry oh damn it i i totally spaced those are police academy toys Damn. Sorry. That's Police Academy toys right there. <sighs> I don't think of them as toys. They're just goofy. So now you know. We all learned something tonight. Uh, light needs to be... Wait. Light needs to be green like stream. <laughs> all right. There you go. Green like stream. There you go. Uh, all right, so let's get out of here. Uh, brand new outro coming your way. As uh, as Sex Psycho said, uh, let's get out of here. I think I think two hours is plenty of time for the nerdy effect to scream at you guys. Uh, let's do it right. Let's let's fold it up. That's right. Nerdy face palm. We get that drawing. That's true. Uh, let's let. Oh oh oh. Hang on. We got a we got a brand new nerd circle right here. Check it out. Nerd circle. Nerd circle to you all. I'll see you tomorrow for Australia Day. Nerd circle to ya. Boom ya. Brand new outro. I'll see you tomorrow. Follow the host. Nerdy effect. It's the nerdy effect. Eight point oh. Seven point oh. Two point oh. Six point oh, y'all. Four point oh, dale. Six point oh. To be bought. To be bought. To be bought. To be bought. The nerdy effect.